Sorry about the little bit of a delay. Uh, it's always good coming back from a massive shoot and then just trying to figure out where all the hardware and stuff is. And sometimes we, uh, we, weren't, we weren't having cameras working, but everything is good now. We're alive. I can see that we're on 293 meow jokes from uh, Alex, who is here as well. So uh, it's super good to have you guys here. Welcome to another special edition show where we are celebrating the launch of this bad boy right here, the Intel Core i9-14900KS. And then we also have an incredible, incredible custom built system for our custom design system from Blue Horse Studios, which is also here in the channel um, to, uh, to give away. Um, today on the show. So it should be really, really epic. Today what's gonna happen is we're essentially gonna build it. Um, we are going to uh, benchmark it just in terms of just showing you thermals and all that sort of stuff. And then the last thing we're gonna do is then we're gonna give it away. And so we have all of the fun stuff that we usually have. But unlike the Intel Live Show, we have more than that many giveaways. And this is the usual for the Roby Tech team. So here's the way that it works. Uh, if we get a level five hype train, we give away a $25 Newegg gift card because we are also doing this in partnership with Newegg. Uh, hold on one sec, I feel like our sponsor thing went away. Let me make sure this is on loop. I wanna make sure, so let's go to properties. And so why is it not looping? Uh, uh, hold on. All right, so there it is right there. Okay, so I don't know why it wasn't looping, but it is there and it should be losing, looping. So anyway, uh, we are going to be, uh, we're also doing this in partnership with Newegg, which is super, super cool. We love doing stuff with them. They were my OG sponsor way back in the day. And so it's really awesome to actually have them here as well. So uh, for those who don't know, and you know, the, the cool thing is, is being on a show like this, we actually have Alex chilling in the chat right now. Uh, but for those who don't know, we're gonna talk a little bit about the 14900KS. We'll do that as we basically do some building and things like that to show the thing off. The other thing too is that uh, if we get 50 subs, we give away a $50 new gift card, 100 subs, $100 new gift card, and then it grows from there. And then also remember, if you are a subscriber at twitch.tv slash rubytech, you do get additional entries for entering this giveaway. So drop your Amazon Prime sub, that'll get you additional entries, three extra entries uh, for basically when we draw the winner here uh, at the end of the show, which is actually pretty cool. So if you wanna win this incredible system, make sure that you drop your Prime sub as well. And then lastly, if we actually get enough subs, depending on how this goes, we'll actually give away a 14900KS as well, depending on how the sub things go. So if we get to uh, if we get to 300 subs tonight, then we'll also drop a, or sorry, yeah, 350 subs, my God. If we get to 350 subs tonight, we'll also drop a 14900KS just as an additional giveaway as well. Now remember, you head over to youtube.com slash robytechlive, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, we will also unlock another $25 new gift card and we're already on the hype train already. So we got some awesome stuff going off. Skeeter1243, thank you for the sub. QC username, thank you for the prime sub. Spitfire, thank you for the sub. Dr. McNugget, Canadian Jax, Figment for life. Also, all of you guys, thank you for all of those subs. You are absolutely incredible. Um, and so thank you very much for that. What's the story on the community challenge? We'll do that with the next build that matches that CPU brand, guys. So we'll do that. Uh, usually it's, I think we have one. We haven't set the schedule, so it'll probably be sometime next week. So again, it usually takes a little while from when the community challenge happens to when the actual giveaway actually happens as well. So uh, the PC Robot Tech Graph, I suppose, so if it's worldwide, as long as the winner pays. All right, so I want to talk about that. And Campbell, uh, some Sergeant Nobody, thank you for the gifted subs as well. I want to talk about international. Okay, so we had somebody who actually did do an international winning. I just want to let you guys know that is still the rule. Just know that it could be thousands of dollars if you are basically entering from the UK, anywhere that's outside of the United States. The government, and this is not us, this is why international giveaways are so expensive, guys. But anytime when you have, hold on one sec, guys, my wife is calling. Hello, you're live on Roby Tech. Well, hi, I was wondering how far away that delivery is. Oh, let me look right now. So she's wondering, it says, you're the next stop. Okay, excellent, thank you. Thank you, bye-bye. Everybody bye. says hi to you. 
Um, so anyway, guys, uh, for international giveaways, yes, as long as you will pay shipping and customs, you can enter to win. But just be super clear, know that that can be very, very expensive. So just be aware that uh, you guys, if you are opting to do that stuff, just know that it could be expensive. And I just wanna make sure you know that. Uh, yes, uh, and the other two is yes, unless you're planning on buying a high end, you're essentially probably going to pay for the system. You just basically get it from the US, but more than likely you're gonna almost pay the exact same cost. Unfortunately, that's just kind of the way governments work. And that's one of the reasons that a lot of companies don't do international because it literally doubles the cost of the giveaway. And then there's a bunch of rules around when something gets over $5,000. And when we have a $4,000 build, just FYI. So, <clears throat> so we are gonna do US, Canada, and Mexico. <laughs> You're good to go there, but if you want to do international, same rule, just know it's going to be expensive. Um, <clears throat> the, yeah, so was that the, so yes, the, the UK, when they find out how much it actually costs to ship something, it gets very, very expensive. So um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think that's kind of it. <clears throat> no, I don't think there, I think there's anything else. Hi, by the way, it's super good to see you. I didn't get to chat with you as much on the show, we were me and Alex were too busy ge uh, geeking out and having a good time. So it's super good to just get to hang out with you today. Welcome to just a regular Roby Tech episode brought to you by the team <coughs> at New Egg and Intel. <coughs> super glad to basically be here with you. And today is gonna be a super, super fun show. So uh, we are almost to level five, Canadian Jacks. Baba Ganoush dropping it. We just gotta finish it out and then we'll start the build and go from there. Hydrate, thank you very much, Sergeant Nobody. Guys, because it's Intel, I switched to a blue one today. I haven't put a RobyCat sticker on it though. <clears throat> and don't forget, this is, we still have one more week on the Project Zero Intel build that's sitting behind us. So if you also, with all your subs, you're getting extra entries towards winning that PC in the back, which is, all you gotta do is a, uh, I'll move the case so you can see it. <sighs> So that beautiful PC is up for grabs for one lucky sub for the month. Uh, nope, that's still not enough to see it. There it is. That one right there. If you do a, if you do a uh, prime sub, it's one entry, tier one, three, tier two, five, tier three, 10, and every gifted sub gets you an additional entry towards winning that PC back there as well. And that's sub only. Uh, if you wanna see the rules, they're all on Discord. So anyway, guys, this is the build. It's a custom Lee and Lee 011. Oh, I took it off and then it's a custom Lee and Lee 011 dynamic RGB. Uh, absolutely stunning, if you have to say. And the design, probably one of my favorite. It is to celebrate the year of the dragon. It was done by our team over at Blue Horse Studios. And somebody is going to be very, very lucky who's going to win this build. And I'll talk about parts here in a minute once we get through the level five hype train as well. So it is a very, very cool build and I'm really, really excited. Uh, how do we enter? You guys will find out later on in the show how you basically enter to win. You just gotta chill and be, participate. That's how we basically do this. So beautiful build and we have ridiculous parts we're putting inside of it. But we're probably asking Roby, why are we doing this ridiculous PC? Like what is it um, that we're, uh, you know, why is it that we're doing it for the 14900KS? Well, for those who don't know, uh, Intel just launched their new it's like their super flagship processor. So the 14900K is a flagship processor, but if you look here on the screen, here on the top down, you'll actually say that this, this PC says limited edition. That's because this is, hey, by the way, T. McClan, thank you very much for the uh, $10. This right here is a limited edition CPU. And what it's for is it's for the folks who wants either the best of the best or you productivity people. So people who like where you are gonna see a lot and we're talking 10 to 13% is if you are an editor, a coder, a compiler, AI, stuff like that, that's where this bad boy is going to be uh, really worth its salt, right? Because we're talking about Cinebench scores that are significantly higher, compiling scores or CPU-Z scores that are significantly higher where you basically see this being a rock star. When you talk about gaming, Gaming is, is, it's murky, and it's not murky for the wrong reasons. It's murky because gamers and gaming companies basically have a tendency to basically um, uh, optimize their, their work for a particular CPU, right? Because they always have sponsors, etc. cetera. So uh, in the case of, in the case, can you just open it so no one sees the address, sorry. Uh, the, uh, in the case of like, you know, certain games, for instance, Assassin's Creed Mirage, or uh, you know, uh, Hell Divers 2. Those games are sponsored by 
companies like Intel. And in those cases, you'll actually see uh, you'll actually see optimizations that are higher. So when you think about gaming outside of 1080p gaming, uh, it's essentially uh, going to be somewhere between one and three percent for uh, the uh, performance gains in that regard, right? And then at 1080p, that's where you're going to see the majority of the work. At almost 4K and 1440p, you're going to see almost nothing. Now, with great power comes the need to essentially cool that. And so when we talk about our parts and everything else, you'll actually see what we're talking about in terms of being able to cool this bad boy. It is one of those things that if you are in there and you're like, this is a waste of money or whatever, then this CPU is not for you. But if you are one of those ones who love to flex, who just want the best of the best, who want to basically run record breaking stuff like, you know, like we've seen from Asus and ASRock and all those guys, then this might be the CPU for you. And that's why it's a limited edition. This is a Bend 14900K that can go up to 6.2 gigahertz on one core, 5.9 on all core, and then 5.7 depending on uh, what the workloads and stuff like that. Average, we have seen Cinebench scores. We've tested five of them. We've seen Cinebench scores sometimes between the high 39s all the way up into the high 41s. So there is even some silicon lottery within that SKU as well. So that is, yeah, it's the turbo package. It's essentially going from a Porsche to a Porsche RUF, right? It's essentially going from, I mean, another scale, and I love car analogies anyway. It's like going from like an Audi up to a Porsche or from a Porsche up to a Ferrari or a Ferrari up to a Koenigsegg, it, unless you're doing an Enzo or something like that. <clears throat> so that's uh, just some of the stuff to be aware of when we're talking about the build. And I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be answering questions and all that sort of stuff, but I wanna make sure that I give you guys the 411 on the build in and of itself. From a metal S to a plat, I like that IC sniper. Pimpto up to a, Pinto up to pretty much any car whatsoever at all, right? So there, <laughs> that is uh, that is the truth right there. So yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It's a it's again it's a CPU for those those high high end gamers, and that's what we're doing today. And today we're going to celebrate it with a really ridiculous build. And by the way, thank you very much, Xe Badassin, Walter Waterboy, all of you guys, Sharkache, everybody who's been subbing. We're, th we're like 20 something away from unlocking the $50 new A gift card. So let's talk about the parts list we're putting inside of this. Cause this is, be ready, okay? Be ready, cause it's going to be an epic build. Here it is right here. It's an Intel Core i9-14900KS. We're using an MSI MPG Z790 carbon Wi-Fi motherboard. We're using a gigabyte NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090. We're using three terabytes of NVMe storage. We're using Kingston Fury Beast RGB uh, Beast RAM, 32 gigs, a 6,000 mega transfer. We're using a custom Lee and Lee 01111 Evo RGB in black. Uh, we're using a Fantex Glacier One 420 millimeter AIO with D30 fans. We're using D30 fans throughout this entire build, and then we're using MSI MPG A1000G. In other words, this is the build. Like when you think about cooling this thing, when you think about making sure that this thing can do what it needs to do, this is the, the standard parts that it takes to basically pull, be able to pull this stuff off. So um, Dr. McNugget, that's okay. I understand if you need a break, go ahead and let me know. It's a gnarly, it's a true beast of a PC and we're using all of the highest end components. And then the best thing is we're gonna give it away to one of you guys. You guys, uh, you guys don't want to know how much argument went into cooling. What do you mean, Icy Sniper? Uh, but can it run City Skylines too? That is, that is a crazy, that is a crazy question. Because honestly, I don't even think City Skylines two can run City Skylines two. Will it get 60 FPS in 1080p? Probably. I think there's going to be a, a number of those things. I, I go from there. Uh, and so yeah, the only thing is, Roby, I have a wild question. Araxis, go ahead and ask your wild question and ask it to Roby Cat, because Roby Cat has the answer. And then we'll start doing the build stuff. Uh, warranty void aside, would you delete a 144 commission build if we asked for it? So Araxis, uh, Replica Gaming, thank you very much for the sub. We are gonna be deleting a 14900KS because we are Roby Tech. So we are gonna be, for, we are gonna be doing a 14900KS deleted build because EK has sent us their direct die, for, uh, their direct die cooler. So, Absolutely, if somebody asked for it, we would do it just letting them know that their warranty is void. But luckily I have a good friend of mine, his name is Alex, and uh, he would let me, he would hook me up. Yeah, we want it, yes, there he is right there. We're gonna delid with the Katana. That is happening, so yes, for sure. We are gonna be delitting and it's gonna be fun. The Tech Herbals at 3M Midnight contain, contain outdated hardware, wear slippers. Oh. <laughs> 
Yeah, we're gonna use a direct Geico. Just about me watching PC parts. I just want this baby. I probably will never have an OP PC. Hey, you never know. Maybe you're the one who wins. So you, you never know. I have a question about the case. Is that the Evo RGB compatible with the mesh panels that were sold on the original Evo? I don't believe so. I think you need to buy, I think you do actually indeed need to buy the panel specifically. I don't think the shape is exactly the same. So um, yeah, hopefully that answers that question. So do you guys, let me just ask you this, before we get into building the PC, did I answer said questions? Do you guys feel like I've given you the information you need to be able to make wise decisions about whether the 14900KS is for you? And then the other person you can let me know that is Alex. Alex, did I do good? Did I, did I do a good job? Because remember guys, this is sponsored by Newegg and Intel. Um, but the good thing about them is they let me kind of tell you how it is, right? I want you, they don't want it. They're not trying to pull wool over your eyes. They know exactly who the CPU for is as well. So yeah, um, there is no kill like overkill. That is absolutely true. My question is, is if you need to kill a snake, use a nuke. You know what I mean? Like who cares if you die in the process as well? Um, okay, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Looks like we have not, can we do one thing? Can we just get nine subs? Let's get to 50 subs and then we'll start the, uh, we'll start the build process. That blue one next to you. There's lots of, there's lots of blue things next to me. The set's all Intel out right now, guys. <clears throat> Snakes are good, they are good. Yes, you're right. You're right, okay, spiders. Um, or, or, or small gnats or chiggers, like those things. We'll kill those with a nuke, right? <clears throat> a 14900 is optimized 13900 KS and a 49 is a speed bump 14900 K. So it's, I think that, and maybe this is a question for Alex. I don't actually, I believe the 13900 KS and the 14900 KS are using the same process. They are both binned Ks that have a, that are optimized and ensured to run at 6.6, uh, uh, 6.2. So, hey, Tedger, thank you very much. Oh, and there we are, 53. You guys are amazing, appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get that done and then we'll start the build process. But Alex might be able to answer that question a little bit more if he's down to answer questions. Let me fix this. Dr. McNugget, thank you for the gifted sub. We're on our way to a $100 new gift card. There you go, next goal up, okay, cool. Okay, so let's put this out of the way. Let me take a drink because I've been talking a lot and I'm glad to have you there. Yeah, org is right. Oh, I need to jump into, let me jump into Discord. My, my texts are sitting there like poised to jump in and chat. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. We got Tice, we got Zeist in and we got Kilt Man in there. Okay, so let's get this out of the way and we're gonna go ahead and grab our board and all that stuff. And I will show you how to cool it. We'll show you all that stuff at the same time. And we, we have provided, our techs luckily have seen all of our testing information already. So uh, they're well aware of uh, what have essentially we've done um, to do our testing and what the average is against the samples that we gotten and all that sort of stuff. Um, I was wondering when Roby would join in the, yeah, that's funny, I saw it in the left-hand side and then you guys weren't there. And then just so you guys know, Come in and say hi, Brian, so that way people know. Yo. Brian is here because afterwards we have to shoot a promo, and so he has to capture a specific thing during the build. So if you see him just in that process, just understand it so we can make better content for you. So everybody say hi, Brian, and there's Brian. Brian is hi, Brian. the brain behind this. So you can either be thankful or terrified because he was the one yeah there it is he was the one who actually created this so anyway that's that's who it is sorry for <laughs> yeah he says sorry for all the nightmares okay let me grab our parts here and then we'll start the process of doing the building here so we we'll grab our motherboard we'll go to top down so you won't even have to really worry about the shot getting in the shot and stuff like that okay so guys one of the things we are going to do is we're going to slot this bad boy um, we're gonna slot it and then what we're gonna do is we're then gonna put the, uh, we're gonna put the, uh, uh, the contact frame on it because it needs a contact frame. Okay, cool. But we wanna get the shot of the slot. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> yeah, it's a carbon Wi-Fi. By the way, just found out there's actually a carbon Wi-Fi too, which I did not know. Do you know that, Brian? No. Yep, do you care? It I is the, you guys are literally checking into a, you're watching the life of Brian right now. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you are, you are literally going and watching it right now. Uh, okay. 
So just so Brian can enjoy and then get back to his other fun stuff, which is mostly uh, shooting other builds that are downstairs and prepping for our trip to PAX tomorrow, um, he is uh, he wants to just get this shot <clears throat> as well. Yeah, play the leaves in like 10 hours. Yeah, he was like, when, when I originally booked it, he was like, bruh. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't like getting up all that early. So, um, okay, here we go, boys and girls. Okay, so we're gonna get this out of the way. Let's start our build process. So we're gonna slot this bad boy and get some, get some opening as well. So here it is. Now the question is, because we, we don't know, will the CP, will the VRM actually jump Will it actually leap over the CPU when we jump? Will, it, will the CPU cover jump over it? So let's grab our CPU right here. <clears throat> okay, here we go. So we're getting out our CPU. 14900KS. These are, by the way, these little these little plastic things that they come in, they're like gold, I'll tell you. Okay, there we go. Zeisten, are you there? Killman, are you there? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yes, I think I'm here. Just making sure. All right, here we go. So, let's go to our top down here, show you that it is indeed, so there's no trickery. There is our Intel Core i9 uh, 14900KS processor. You can actually see all that stuff. So we're gonna do this now. And then if Brian says we have to do it again, we have to do it again, guys. But here we go, we're gonna try. We're waiting for the prediction here. Oh, crud, just cancel the prediction, Blondie, because we're gonna basically put this in there, okay? I have to go slow, because I, oh, hold on, I gotta go slow so I can make this happen. Okay, here we go. Oh, it did not happen. It did not happen, but there it is right there. Slot it in. Huh? Oh. Okay, just getting a pass. Sorry, guys. Sorry. But the good thing is, is nobody lost money because I had to do, I, we had to get the shot real quick. All right, there we are, guys. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to remove this and put in the contact plate. So let's zoom out a little bit here. go so you can see this so the contact frame specifically for something that's as high end is like this like even when we uh, even when we saw Intel's numbers because they shared their numbers with us and what they did as well like they specifically also use contact frames just knowing uh, that they want to make sure you optimize cooling so so we're getting that stuff out put that from there and then we will include this as well I actually like to use, uh, I'll use this, it's fine. Do not forget, I will not forget the peel. Thank you for reminding me. There we go. Uh, yeah, we'll do RAM predictions. Zeiston, what do you think for tonight's RAM? Uh, let's go with um, 95. 95 from Zeiston. Shooting a little low today. It's been a little while since he's been on the show, so he's, he's, be, he's making it a little easy. He's, he's, he's easing back into it. Uh, you know, I've been gone for a little bit. I can't come in just swinging. Yeah, exactly. He's like, I need it. He's like, I'm not going to... Then you, uh, you mean for the for the sub only PC Clicoma? Then you have, then that's fine. But you have to be a sub on, you have to be a sub on Twitch, dude. All right, here we go, guys. So we're gonna pop our LG 1700 stuff on there. There we go. Zoom in. Oops. You guys can watch this. Oh, when you totally take the tool and put it in there as well. Wait, did I? Okay, I did put the tool. I was like, where's the tool? 
Okay. Putting it in there. Just getting our screws in. By the way, it's good to see everybody. Okay, get your predictions in, guys. And you don't want to go too tight on this thing. That is super important. You do not want to over torque the plate. It's just like basically about like that and then you're good. Because you want to make sure it's, so you were kind of like looking for the same evenness there. I've never misinstalled, so I'm trying to be overly careful, but you know, it's just like, you don't, it's not anything crazy to uh, make sure it's installed. I will never, guys, you never know. And sometimes we don't tell people when you're when the stream's gonna end because you're supposed to watch the stream. It's not meant as a, hey, I'm gonna come back at the end of the stream. That's why we never tell people when the giveaways are. I might decide to do it right in the middle. You never know. We could do it right now. My thing is being wacky here, there you go. So it's meant as a thing for you to stay and watch the stream. Yeah. So that's the point. Okay, and now it's peel time. Yeah, a lot of people, it's like, it's a little nerve wracking. And I think that's one of the things about contact frames that, contact frames that people need to be aware of is they're not as straightforward as you think, so there is some risk for sure. And that's always something to be aware of when you're when you're doing something outside of stock. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do now. Get our M.2s in. Okay, we're gonna do our peel on here. All the peels. All the peels for sure. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Wasn't coming off all that well. Okay, so one terabyte of storage going in right now. Might need to replace the battery on this thing, guys. Feels like it's getting wacky. It's already getting low on battery. There we go, one terabyte. There we go. Perfect, there's our one terabyte in. Place that with our carbon thing. Okay, I'm just making sure I did actually indeed. There, that's, I love, I love, I love it when the, uh, they just initially, like they just, they use the little clicker, like there's no hardware or anything to get this done. Nice, simple click, which always makes me happy, you know what I'm saying? Okay, next up, guys, two terabyte time. This one, unfortunately, we gotta use a screwdriver. Yeah, they're nice. The new one actually is really cool. The, 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 the MSI Carbon Z792. I actually want to reach out to MSI and be like, can you send me one of those? I'd like to build with it. Oops. Oh, shoot. I dropped a screw. Oh, there it is. Ah, I found you. I thought that was captive. I was wrong. Put you right here just to make sure I don't lose you. Okay. Peel time. There we go. One more peel. It's better not to lose them. You never know what, you, what you're gonna get, you know what I mean? Whether you get, if there is indeed an extra screw, you know? They're probably like, this seems rather brain dead. Why would we give them another one? 
Yeah, there's a peel underneath. I've already taken it off. There you go. Yeah, it's the cooling pad for the NVMe drive. There we go. Boom. Lucky they make it easy to figure out where this is supposed to go. It's always fun when there's three or four of them and they're all the same size. Exactly. Hey, Nox, uh, Nox's Toy Box. Thank you very much that you love the videos, dude. I appreciate it. Okay. There you go. Our NVMe is in. Pop this out a little bit. We're going to... I feel like something happened here to our little, our little video thing. It's like trying to, it's trying to work. There it goes. I might leave it zoomed out just so we can uh, keep it from, uh, from you guys like get blocking the show. Okay, so everything there is done. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test our, gonna test our uh, clicks. We said 95 on the clicks. There we go. There's that. People are like, come on, 94. I don't want to give up my point. You're like, you're like looking for the, the low bet. Okay, here we go. Hey, every, every once in a while, you get a set that's nice and mushy, so there is a chance. There is a chance. 95 is pretty low, but you, you really honestly do not know in this game. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. 103 point four. That was crazy. Wow. See how this one does. 102.2. Guys, that's that is a click. That was a that was a very nice click. I think last time we had the issue of only getting 94. Yeah. So I mean like I like I was not ready for that. But you know what I am ready for, guys? You know what I am ready for? A dad joke? Oh, dad jokes are always a good thing, but no, something something else. Something, Something's just as fun. Something just as good. And that is... Justin Roby has a show. A-I-A-I-O. And on, on his show, he builds PCs. A-I-A-I-O. With a dad joke here and a zip tie there. RGB, 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 and, and, and a 420 geeky. millimeter Justin AIO. Roby has a show. AIO. 420 millimeters of cooling potential coming into the show now, right here. Uh, somebody asked, is that 32 gigs? I will let people know, right? There's, uh, there's, uh, we have like four, well, we're at like six or 700 people now, and then in thousands on Twitter. But I will just show you guys one more time parts list for today's build. Uh, we are using an Intel Core i9-14900KS, the MSI MPG Z790 Carbon Wi-Fi, the Gigabyte NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090, three terabytes of NVMe storage, 32 gigs of 6,000 mega transfer RAM, custom Lee Lee 011 Evo RGB, the Fantex Glacier 1 420D30 uh, uh, AIO, and then we have the MSI MPG A1000G PSU. So. Uh, that is all the parts that are going into today's build to celebrate. Yeah, it's a beautiful PC, guys. And then this is the core of it right here to make sure that we are properly cooling this amazing CPU. Um, it's uh, it's a 420 millimeter D30 AIO. So 
what we're gonna grab right now is the box of all the stuff that I need to plug it in. I mean, just the stuff right now. So that's all we're putting in right now. There we go. I have a crush on this PC, good. That's what we want, we want you to have a crush on this PC. And the case in and of itself also looks incredible, yes. It's all the things you could want in like the best, the best kind of PC giveaway. Figment is now saying, Roby, the PC that you built me is not good enough. Ow. Ow. Okay. Twelve. There's LGA seventeen hundred. Where's our back plate? Okay, right there. <laughs> Figment's like, wait, wait, that's that's not what I meant. Don't be a jerk. Okay, so the only things I really need out of this are that, this. D30s, I do not need these. I'm just gonna get the stuff out I do not need. Okay, just making sure I only have the stuff out that I need. Okay. I think we got it all, guys. We put all this stuff over here for later. This stuff we use. I'm not going to use this. Because we're going to use our own thermal paste. We're going Noctua. But let me go ahead and put this plate on real quick. Hold on one sec, guys. I'll be right, right back. Be right there, guys. Just get a new battery for the remote. It's uh, it's in the most child protective packaging ever. Kind of like 
getting a new pair of scissors where you have to have scissors to open the scissors. You know, that actually happened to my box cutter recently. I was like, dude, like getting this thing out, like this new battery was like, what the, what the heck? Like very, very, just like, geez. All right, here we go. Um, I hope this does not, and I'm a little worried this is gonna happen, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna, sh we're gonna see if, with doing this, if it's, if this thing is gonna stay paired. Who wants to bet it's not, but. My money is definitely on not. Yeah, we're gonna find out and then. I think if I go quick, which is the opposite of what I am doing right now. All right, here we go. Oh, it's still paired. Oh, things do work out, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Okay, so now we can continue our building process with a new battery for a new battery for our beautiful There we go. Okay. Here we go. Fantex back is in. That's an amazingly sturdy looking back plate. It is, right? That's what I was thinking too. I was like, dang. Hey, Blue Horse dropping 20 gifted subs. He wants wow. to unlock that 14900 KS giveaway. Even though Ron is like, I already touched it. I've already used it because I'm more cool than you. He thank is. you, thank you, Ron. I think Ron feels guilty because he loves he loves Nay and Josh more than me, and he now knows that I know that. <clears throat> Don't worry, you haven't missed anything. I do that just to make Ron, because Ron is like he's like the sweetest dude in the world, and he is like he's, he's probably like, wait, what? That's not true. Thank you, Stinkable. There we go. There we go, getting it in the corner there. Just making sure this is super solid. That is like a very sturdy frame. Okay guys, this is now AIO ready. Now we just gotta get our pasting done. And if we're gonna do pasting, that means we need to, need to zoom in here and get you guys ultimate Paste view. There we go. Oh, look at look at Ron with the best answer. He's like, there are no favorites. There's everybody. And They're I think all favorites. Bob Ross time, guys. Luckily, the contact frame is slightly above, so actually spreading the thermal paste on this is really easy. Just remember guys, head on over to youtube.com slash Live. hit that thumbs up, that unlocks another $25 new gift card. We are, what, 18 subs away from a $100 new gift card. And then the other thing too is do not forget guys, the other thing that's really worth knowing as well is that uh, if you wanna get extra entries towards winning this PC, uh, make sure that you are using your Amazon Prime sub, it's free and it'll get you extra entries towards winning it, and then, or if you have a gifted sub. There we go, look at that. Look at how smooth that is, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's why I like Thermal Take. There's, it's just a very smooth spread. So Alistar, I like to use the NTH1 from Thermal Take. 
I missed this spot. Yeah, a little corner, but it'll be okay. The rest will go. Yeah, so you can go wild, but it's it's elevated, so it'd be hard to actually do it. It'd be it'd be hard to actually do that. Um, because of the elevation, so you wouldn't you don't you can really kind of paint to your heart's content already. And yeah, Roby, you said uh, you said NTH one from Thermal Take. You mean Noctua? Yeah, sorry, no Noctua. My bad. Noctua NTH one or NTH two. NTH two is really hard to get. NTH two is typically my go-to, but it is really hard to source most of the time. So guys, we actually we actually have, and you'll be able to see. And I hey, by the way, uh, Ron, I need to get that. We will actually have down in the video below the vinyls that you can download if you want to create this yourself. So you can take it to a vinyl shop and actually make these yourself. Or you can reach out to Ron and he is willing to do custom cases too. We'll have his contact information in the description. So if you do, if you don't win and you still want to make this build, you absolutely can. We, that's how we do this, is we really want you guys to be something that you can replicate. Um, so if you want to do that, um, uh, we, want to make, we want to make that possible for you. Okay, guys, so there, the motherboard is done. Yeah, we don't wanna, we want, like this is a DIY show. We want this to be DIYable. So even if you don't win the case, uh, you know, you can reach out to, uh, we'll put some things and then find a local vinyl shop. You can take it there. Uh, you can have them apply it uh, and just give them, you can actually give them the files and they'll be able to print it and put it on right there. So. We are that, we always think about that stuff when we do this because we want our builds to be replicatable as well. All right, so there we go. Motherboard is all done. Everything's ready to go. Now is the time to start getting everything inside of the case. And luckily we're still using um, daisy chainable. We're still using daisy chainable hardware. And now it's time to get the motherboard ready and all that such jazz. <clears throat> the case. Uh, so here's the case right there, which again was done by Blue Horse. So he did such an incredible job. Now, he did design all this, so just as an FYI. So, um, you know what I mean? Yeah, stinkable, absolutely. That's why we do it. We want people to not be afraid. We want to show people how to do this. And I want to let you guys know. Starting in two weeks, we will be returning the Robitech step-by-step -step guide. So you will start seeing with every major case, a step-by-step -step guide that comes with it. So there will be a YouTube video that is literally step-by-step -step on Lee and Lee, step-by-step -step on North, the North, all those ones. So it'll take you through the entire build process. So if you can't catch a Robitech live show, you will be able to watch on every case. Uh, and then it even has different options for what kind of hardware you put inside of it. So yeah. Uh, Rubutu, yes, I will be at Computex this year. All right, so we got that. Okay, so now we take off this. There we go. Ugh. Let's go to the side here. Get this all torn down. Oh, maybe I'll do this this way. So it just pulls off. And just so Ron knew, he could label it top. There you go. Just so I know where it is. This is the top. I think that was probably more for the vinyl people, but I like to, I like to pretend it was for me. Okay. Let's go and remove our side fan bits right here. So this is all you do is you just do this. There we go. So we're not gonna be putting any SSDs here. Obviously we're putting fans, what the? Let go, case. All 
Okay, last part is this. This is magnetic, so I don't have to do anything here. So we should be good in terms of builds. Let's get let's get our start getting our motherboard in. Ugh. Okay, let's go to top down. Oh, that is really zoomed in. Wow, I didn't know it was that zoomed in. There we go. We have it in the right place. We're gonna do low, which should fit for a, there we go. And our standoffs are in the right place for this. Look at that, already looking so good. is where is the hardware for this uh, it might be in the box one sec guys okay hardware Okay, don't need that. These are for the front. We have the anti-sag bracket, which we are gonna probably use. And then we have all of our hardware here. I like their anti-sag bracket, actually. Especially for a big chunking card like the Gigabyte 4090, you know? The vertical, it'll be, uh, it'll be horizontal. I do have the vertical mount, but the, K, the, mother, the GPU in and of itself is black. Because of how much the design covers it, I just didn't think it made a lot of sense to use a, uh, to actually use a, um, a vertical GPU mount. So, it's not that it meant performance or anything like that, it's just literally, it doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm at my best when I'm horizontal, I like that. Okay, here we go. Okay, just gotta find our screws. That's right, they mix them all together. Okay, here we go. Just because we're using, we're doing a beastly build, we'll make sure we use a beastly screwdriver. And remember, portions of this program are brought to you by the Zip Tie Foundation of America and Excalibur. There it is, Excalibur is ready to put in the motherboard. Everybody loves Excalibur. It's been a while since we've used it. Taking our time, going around. There we go. You guys have missed Excalibur. That's right, Excalibur is real and he does it does exist and it is right here in the Robitech studio. I'm bringing forth Excalibur. I did, I did, I pulled, this Excalibur was pulled from a motherboard, a sacred motherboard. 
It was forged from motherboards that have gone before it. The king of live stream PC builds. That would actually be kind of cool uh, to pull it from a stone every time. I wonder if we can have something like that. Maybe that's something I can have Ron, Ron make. Like a stone to pull Excalibur from. Sounds like something great to have 3D printed. Yeah. But we want, we'd want to have Ron like make it like look super clean, you know what I mean? Like one that looks like ideal for that. All right, there we go. All that stuff is screwed in. I feel like I dropped the screw, which makes no sense. I think we all, I mean, the thing is stuff like that is always a fun, you know, it just makes the show that much more entertaining. Because every time you pull out Excalibur, you know? Okay, so we got our screws in now. Now what we need to do so we need to, let's start putting our fans in. That's usually the best bet. So we'll get our fans in. We're gonna put reverse. So let's go like this. Ugh. Guys, guess what? I've got a new thing that I'm gonna try. Look at that, went to Lazy Susan. Not chicken butt. And now it just makes it easier to spin it around when we need to do like fan installation and stuff like that. Woo, woo. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is let's go and do our fans. I was influenced, yeah, I was influenced by, I still like to do mine I still like to do mine the normal way, like when I set the case down and stuff like that, because there's still things I like to do sideways, but yeah. Poor Susan, she's lazy. <laughs> They'd be proud, huh? Ugh. Uh, apparently, I, what doesn't work is this, oh, there we go. Some call it lazy, some call it working smarter. Okay, so time to start getting our cables, our fans out. So these are gonna be reversed. These are gonna be intake on the bottom, intake on the side with um, There's all the Lego pieces that we need. Okay, so we have signal input corner, signal, we want the signal input corners all in the same ones. There we go. And these ones are actually labeled out and in, which is good. Okay, so let's go to top down. There's all the cables. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is on this side, you see there's corners here. Oops, guess I realized that, hold on, let me zoom in a little bit here. Okay, so we'll do it up here. So it doesn't, it doesn't get whack here. So these, are, this is how these cables, how these work. They have little bits that go like this and that's how they daisy chain. There we go. And then we'll, I'm gonna push this over even more. That way you can see. 
the entire process here. There we go. So that takes care of that. And you flip them over to the other side, grab the standard ones. There we go. Okay, so there is the ends right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab our end cable. Yeah, it's a nice satisfying click. These are actually a lot of fun to work with. There's a lot of pieces to them. I think that's the one, that's like the only, that's the only kind of downside to it is just the amount of pieces that are for this particular cable, this particular brand of fan. But I mean, dude, you cannot argue with the performance of these fans, you know? There we go. Okay, so there's that. And what we'll do is we'll just do the same thing on the out here. There we go. Flip into the other side. So much extra stuff. And sometimes, like the other thing too, is like sometimes they, there we go. They get like they, they can be finicky in terms of the pieces that actually go in the corners. It always seems like one of these corners just doesn't quite work the way you need it to. There we go. All right, cool. And then the last part is now to make them look like there's nothing on top of them. And then one set of fans is built. So there's a little bit of a process to get everything kind of put together, but I think the final effect when you actually have it all done, you know what I mean? It's it looks nice. It like looks super nice and clean, right? I mean, I would definitely take that process over the process of my fans. Yeah. So it's just like a very nice, clean set of fans when it's all said and done. Okay, we'll save that. We'll get these installed. We'll go on to the next ones. Go to our side view here. Take that out, and then what we're gonna do is literally just not be strong enough. Pull this out. Apparently still not strong enough. Okay, there's that. There we go. Now we want this like this, and then we'll flip it over. And this goes like, okay, so if these are gonna be like this, and these will be on here like this, okay. Just making sure I put the fans on correctly. I'm notoriously bad at putting fans in correctly. <clears throat> now for the next celebrity screwdriver, guys. Wow stick time. Everybody loves the wow stick. Time to get wow. There we go. Oh, we have a couple requests. Dad joke and a stretch. Okay, let's take care of those in just a second. I'm just gonna take these out. Okay, we've done a lot of the other ones. So I'm gonna pull a dad joke from the dad joke calendar. Did you hear, did you guys hear 
about the restaurant on the moon. Did you guys hear about the restaurant on the moon? It's actually, it's got really great food, but no atmosphere. <laughs> there now, it is. Another Roby tank. I thought the prices were out of this world. That sucked all there. the air out of the room. What? So that that out sucked out all the air out of the room. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and start out. We did the stretch and everything else. Thank you very much for that, by the way, guys. Uh, guys, we still, let's go ahead and get those last few street, those last few subs. Remember, because that those help you get extra entries towards winning that PC as well. There we go. I don't want to eat any more moon grub. Dude, honestly, Matt Damon made me not want to eat any more moon, any more potatoes. Thank you very much, Spitfire, for the gifted sub. Remember, gifted subs are going to get you extra entries towards winning that PC as well. We're getting through it, guys. Keep it going, Zig PC, getting us there. The extra subs get extra entries towards the sub only PC, not towards the um, not towards the this PC. They do get you extra entries towards if you are a subscriber, you get extra entries. Everybody does. You do not need to be a subscriber to win, but you do get extra entries if you're subscribed to Robitech on Twitch. But you're entered to win that sub PC back there. That is. It gets you every gifted sub gets you extra entries towards winning that sub PC back there. Dead man, thank you very much for the sub. Goal of the likes is 250, and we'll do a $25 new gift card. How close are we to 250 likes? We need Baba Ganoush doing, there it is, we're at 89, guys. Let's get those last ones, 91. Uh, looks like we're currently at 2.30. 2.30, that's a dentist's favorite time. You get it, 2.30? Somebody Bye didn't down. let that joke last long. Okay. Okay, let's go to side view here. Time to get this installed. Here we go. First set of fans in. Question is, is am I gonna have to remove them? Hydrate, thank you very much, very much, Spitfire. Oh, that's that's why the problem is, hold on. Okay, guys, there's more than that subs. I think we did it, hold on. I gotta fix the sub goal. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Okay, so we've officially done it. Sorry guys, let me fix that real quick.
Next goal is up. Remember guys, if we get to 350, we're giving away a 14900KS CPU as well. Okay, so let's get this in. Move it more towards the middle. I'm just gonna run this cable. Oh, this really needs, oh, there is a little bit of a port down there. See if we can get it in there. Running some cables here. Just not big enough. It's like just YouTube big enough goals for the can hit too. Dang, that is like just big enough for like maybe a Lee and Lee one, but not for. I'm not quite for a. I get. Oh, I guess I can run it here. Never mind. What'd you say, Zyson? My YouTube goal's been reached. YouTube goal's reached, guys. Ow. Please don't hurt yourself. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know how I pinch, my, I pinch myself on the front panel connector every time here. Okay, so we're just gonna make sure that's really clear. Okay, guys, so first zip tie. First hip tie of the build is about to go in. And remember, you got your chance. Zip tie man, zip tie man. Guess the count of them if you can. Even Zars, who can know? Make your wagers on every show. Hey now, Roby's the zip tie man. Channel boys, okay, so what I'm reports. doing right now Things is I'm you can put them to getting the zip tie man. Yes, he can. He's as hot as a frying pan. Hey, now, Roby's the zip tie man. There you go, guys. Get your zip tie count in. I played more of the song than I normally do. I was like, wait a minute. I forgot to not play it. Forgot to hit stop. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Just trying to get this trying to get this up so we can zip tie this down. There we go. I just want to make sure that we can't see we want no cables visible. Ain't no cables. We want no cables visible, right guys? Well, sorry, that's impossible. But we're gonna try and make sure there's as few cables visible as possible. There we go. Okay, one zip tie, ah, ah, ah. 97 to go. Not yet, 97 to go. Okay, next set of fans needs to be done. Reverse. Yeah, Lee and Lee case, guys. Okay, let's go to top down. There we go. The next box of Legos. Yeah, the next, yeah, it literally is like Lego. There's so many of these things. So many pieces. They're still faster than normal fans though. Oh, by far. Yeah, like even with all the, the additional pieces. Not as simple to kind of put together as Lee and Lee, but still pretty simple. 
Okay, so we're looking for our signal ones. Someone in the chat's asking if you've ever done a Lego-themed PC. We haven't yet, but it's on the list. Ow. Can you give me this? Okay, there we go. That was being a little difficult. It's on the list of stuff to do for sure. Okay, so let's grab our signal stuff here. There we go. Now we just grab our normal ones. Grab our normal power cable. Here we go. One more over here. Thank you very much for all the follows, guys. And they're being asked about, again in chat there, Roby, do we have a um, time frame on the next round of build mats? No, not yet. It's been like it's still they're still working on them. We get we do get updates on a pretty regular basis. It's just getting the thickness. We're pretty picky about them, but we are where you guys we are expecting to be able to do orders this spring for sure. So I mean, they're great quality. I've got one on my desk. Yeah, and that's the thing Amazing. is like that when they made them thinner, I didn't I didn't I didn't I wasn't happy. So we're just picky about them. Oops. Nope, still not. There we go. Okay, there's that. There we go. Go. I forgot to take the ones off the front of the last set. There it is. Took the back ones off, but I didn't realize there was ones on the front too. Not that it would have been a big deal. Okay. Now for the last bit of the Lego pieces. Making the whole rest of the build look good. Got another super chat over on YouTube. Whoa, thank you very much, man. Appreciate it, Joseph. It wasn't bad, but I appreciate it. My day was going well, but thank you for the thank you for the pick-me-up. There we go. Okay, all of that is done. We have another set all built. Only one more fan to put together, guys. And that is for our rear exhaust. Let's just for fun, let's go ahead and drop a, uh, let's go ahead and do a giveaway for a $25 new gift card. We'll actually do the two, two $25 new gift cards up for grabs, exclamation point community. We probably pushed a button that wasn't it. $25 new gift up for grabs, two $25. Go ahead and do it, exclamation point community.
Okay. Next goal, guys. Put this in. Swing this over. Side view. There we go. Okay. Uh, Spitfire, I just hydrated. And then, unfortunately, the best way to run this, well, there is a hole up there. Okay, so let's do it this way then. So luckily there's a hole up in the corner up here which I expect, I knew there, I thought there was, but run this here. There we go. that bad boy in. Those fans are gonna look good, guys. There we go. So far looking pretty good. Okay. Working through it. Ooh, I hope that's too... I'm not gonna do two, I'm just gonna get them in tight-ish. Guys, new community challenges live. Oh, the winners. Let me see who the winners are. Uh, did we draw the winners? I don't know if she has drawn them yet. Hold on. Oh, no, she has. Uh, TROP19 over on Twitch and BG808S on Twitter. I'm uh, sorry, on uh, BG808S on YouTube and TROB19 on Twitter. Congratulations, you guys. Always nice to see a YouTube win. Yeah, I know. We just don't usually get a lot of them, right? 
Okay, guys, that's all in. Okay, let's just tighten this up now so it's all good. And then we'll have all of our fans except for one installed. Looking good. What do you guys think of the build? Oh, I lost my, lost my chat. It's looking pretty good. Those white fan blades pr provide a nice little bit of contrast. Yeah, I think especially when we have the dragon cover on and everything. And I'll go through the parts here in a minute now that we're, we have like third, almost 4,000 people here of which 600, almost 700 on our way to, on, on Twitch alone. I don't know how many people we have on YouTube, so. There we go. There we go. Okay. And remember guys, all the customization for this, if you love how this looks in the build itself, all the customization will be available um, in terms of the files and stuff down in the description post the show. So if you wanna download this stuff and uh, make your own build, like do your own version of this custom case, we wanna make sure that you can absolutely do this. This is not something that we're hiding, right? We want you to be able to customize too, because this is stuff that you can do. <clears throat> all right, so we've got all that done. Let's go ahead and get our Front panel's hooked up. And then go from there. So let's pop into the roaming camera here on the back. Okay, so here we go on the roaming camera here in the back. Okay, so for our Oh, it's not there. I will fix it. One sec. Sometimes this happens. Or maybe not. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So first thing we're going to want to do, and we have this little space down here, right here that we're running, we can run cables into. So we're gonna take our HD audio cable right here. We're just gonna kind of push it through there, just like that. And then we'll make this look good here in a minute. And then over on the side camera, you see us essentially pull this out. So we got a good coverage there. Okay, next set. some RGB here. Okay, I'm gonna look at the side camera. We're gonna look at the side here. Let's figure out where we're gonna run our, so USB three is here in its corner, which is nice, and a USB-C. So that's, that's gonna be great. That's gonna be perfect. Let's go to our side camera here, our, our roaming camera. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our, our USB 3.2 and just run it right into that little area right there. So it's running right down in there, like so. And then we're gonna take our USB-C, we're gonna run it up above. And then let's make sure on our side camera, it's actually the right place. Yep, those look good. Okay, next up, guys. That particular were... roaming camera's got such good quality. Yep, yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's much better. So this one, we have our front panel connection, so that's just gonna go right in here. Just like that. Oh, it looks like it's a little bit underneath here. Hold on, let's get that untangled. And we just, we don't want any, we don't want it on top of anything, so. The key thing is, is just trying to keep cables untangled. And we'll just run that right down there. 
Perfect. Now pull that onto the side camera here. And there's that. Okay. So the only thing we really have left, and we'll deal with this here in a minute after we hook up our front panel connections, is, um, is basically hooking up our fans and stuff like that. So I'm gonna push this over. I wanna make sure we get a good zoom when we install the, install all the cables. Give you guys the right the right view here. Okay. Want this to go. Get that out of the way, so it's just a nice clean run. USB C. like our, we just literally installed this and then like now it's being wet. There we go. Okay, so USB-C right here. So we're just gonna do one close one. There we go. USB 3.2, right below it. Very, very easy. You're just gonna go right at a right angle. Get that hooked up. Nice and clean right there. Okay, now let's see if we can get this front panel so you can see it really good. Okay, so front panel connection on the far left here. There we go. Try and fix that here in a minute. Okay. Let me over here. We have our HD audio. And for anyone who's a first time builder, he said F panel far left. He meant front panel far other left. Yeah, sorry. And I'll show you, I'll show you here. Let me go with roaming here because it was hard to see where it plugged in. Riddick dropping 20 gifted subs. Thank you, Riddick. So again, just roaming camera so you guys can see this. So this is where the front panel actually was right here. So I know it was hard to see, but if you look, it's on the far right and it's plugged in here. HD audio is here. So I know these are kind of blocked, so I wanted to make sure I showed you. And then again, USB-C and USB 3.2 plugged in right here in terms of your connection. So, you know, when you look at the whole board all up, you can actually see that stuff right there. Okay. Okay, so now that that's kind of done, what we can do is some initial cable management just to get stuff uh, kind of cleaned up. And then we'll work on our AIO here. So one of the things I like to do is remove these because we'll put everything down below. And then I'll, I'm gonna take our fans out. You wanna go top down there, Roby? Yeah, yeah. Zoom it out before I go to that. There we go. Okay, so we're just gonna get our fans out of the way. 
there's nothing else kind of getting in the way of these cables. And we have an RGB cable I have to figure out too, but we'll get to that here in a minute. Okay, so this and this, we want to be super tight. into like a semblance of a just want to control this in a good way And then I'll use some zip ties to kind of help hold this down too, but really this is just to keep this I think they want this to actually be for PSU cables too. So what I'll do is I'll leave this open. Make sure that's nice and tight there. Use a good solid zip tie around this. Yeah, cable management, guys. It's just what it's what it's what separates us from the uh, from the animals. At least I pretend it does. I'm glad I you learned from it. That's awesome, dude. That makes me that that brings me joy. Football is life. Cable management is life. Okay, that all looks good. Okay, that looks good. There's no, there's not really any cables down at the bottom that I need to manage, which I mean, I have a cable thing for anyway. And we still have some other stuff we have to kind of manage in once we figure out the, uh, the RGB problem here, but I'll get there. Ugh. Because all of the, the Fantex fans kind of daisy chain together, which is fine, so they should be, but I don't want to plant any LED stuff until we know that we know we know what's going on here. So there you go. Okay. So now what was that giant kind of travesty of cables is now just limited to what we essentially have here. Now, what I can do is I do have fans so I can figure out where I'm gonna run the fans for these real quick which I don't think is a bad idea so let me look at our fan stuff and then figure out where I'm gonna put the fans for now so and then we'll go from there okay so let's let's take a look at the side here so I have a couple fan spots there I have a fan spot there which I think would be fine. And then as long as we run at MSI, we just run them for the standard loop, we should be okay. So we'll run them to different places. I'll show you where I'm gonna run it here in a minute. Okay, so let's 
grab a roaming camera. Okay, so roaming here, what we're gonna do, grab our one, pop that right down in here, which I think will be good. Take care of that one, and then we'll take our second one, which is to our top fan, and we'll put it right here. So that one's going in there, in this side slot here, and then the other one is going down here, in this slot down here, and then if we come to the other side here, Ooh. This is where the Lazy Susan would have been nice, but it's like I don't quite need the Lazy Susan yet. Okay. Okay, so let's go to roaming here. First one. I'm gonna plug this into this fan cable hub right here. Look at that beauty. Okay. Pull that taut. There we go. And then the next one, we've got this one right here. Put that right there. And we'll be able to pull that really taut so you can't, you almost, like, it's almost like you can't even see it there. Okay, so now, ugh, let's get those cable managed. Make sure they're nice and tight. Top down, so we're, what we're gonna do, basically, The random Halloween song for everybody. Tur dog's not wrong about PSU. I think everybody would say that, right, Zeiston? Uh, yes. that one all done, ready to go. So that takes care of that little fan cable. Okay, let's get this one kind of under control and then we'll have all of our main kind of cables done here. I'm just trying to make this look as pretty as possible, which is the whole point. Hey, Turdog, thank you for the 10 gifted subs, guys. We're almost to 150. Okay, 
Takes care of that. Okay, so all we have left is these. So I'm gonna go ahead and daisy chain together. We'll figure out here in a minute how we're gonna run these because we still have some other things we're gonna do, but we can do this and just kind of have them here. So they're just under control for the AIO. But guys, there is all of our cable management just kind of under control for now. And then we have an R, another RGB, which we'll figure out here in a minute once we have all the RGB figured out. Okay. Looking at the side camera, you can see, I think the build looks nice and clean. We are looking very, very good in terms of how this PC is looking. Ooh, it looks, it looks really great. Thank you very much, Canadian Jacks. Guys, we're three subs from 150. Who's gonna put us over that, that list? We're on our way towards giving away that 14900 KS too. Okay. Oh, you know what? Forgot a fan, guys. How did you let me forget a fan? We were just waiting to see how long it was gonna take you to remember. Huh? Thanks, guys. You're Thanks welcome. My back. Gotta let you figure out your process on your own, right? Fine. Fine. There it is, guys, 150. Going to the next goal. Next goal is up, guys. Oops, whoa. Next up, 225, 14600K giveaway. Okay, got that in. How'd you guys lose? Okay, here we go, going to top down. We're just gonna completely seal this bad boy up. Make it look pretty. There we go. Like if I was an astronaut, 
Okay, that one is done. Okay. Oh. I don't think uh, they. Oh, there it is. I was like, where's our rear screws? They're there. I did peel the plastic off. They're on both sides. Yep. Thank you for asking. Okay. Yeah, that is definitely not going in there. I'm trying to see if I could fit a Fit a uh, a fan cable down there, but I cannot. I'm here. If I do it right there, then it'll be right at the, we'll see if I have enough room. We'll see if that works. actually a zip tie place right there, which is cool. I'm going to zip tie that in. Guys, we are getting close to like pretty much the, all we're going to have to do after this is the AIO, which luckily is just a daisy chain. That so makes it pretty easy. Oops, the side view. Oh, it is in the side view, sorry guys. There we go. Okay, puts that out of the way. I'm gonna try and bring it down a little bit. So it, it, I, want, I want this to basically try and be as close to invisible as possible. We go. Okay. So it takes care of that, which we cannot see, which is good. Now we're going to do feel like the right place to run I might run the rear fan to here again because main reason being is that this well no actually I think it'll be okay if pump fan and CPU fan no we'll run it to the side one here so what I'm gonna do is grab our 
roaming camera. So you guys can get an idea of what's happening here. So here we have our we have our fan, basically our cable from our uh, rear exhaust here, and we're just going to run it right into the same spot, right there, and then what we're going to do is. Go to right here. Plug that in and then now that's our exhaust fan. So we have our, basically this is one of our pairs of fans. This fan right here is plugged in here. These fans are plugged in down here. And then we have our exhaust fan plugged in right here. And what we'll do is we'll set all of these to PWM which will run off the CPU. So they'll still be able to run nice and awesome. Okay, so now all of our fans are in here. I'm just gonna do one more little set of cable management here. And that's to get this, get our, get this rear done. Honestly, these ones might just be better for now to grab. We'll zip tie it here in a minute. There we go. And then one more right down over here. And then we will have all of our fans hooked up. Then we can just focus on AIO, which is always fun. Just want to make sure that's as tight as possible. Then we'll run that under the Evo here in a bit. Then we have one more and a daisy chain there. We'll figure all this out here in a minute once we get it all done. Okay, guys. Oh, it's time for the big end to go in here. It's time for our AIO. We got all our fans in. Basically, now it's just AIO time. And then once the AIO's in, we GPU some cable extensions, and then it's kind of done. You know what I mean? So it should be good. Yeah, AIO time. I'm glad you guys are digging it. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the build. Okay. Ugh. Big old AIO, ladies and gentlemen. Big old AIO. Okay, everything's here. <coughs> Those are D30s. Got 
There's all our cabling. There we go. Big D30s. And there we go. Okay, there's our normal, or fans. Let's pull our peels out of the bottom. There we go. Five sixty air. Yeah, wow, somebody's somebody's like looking for it. It's like I can't wait till it's so powerful. Requires a five sixty. That is a big. That would be a big case. Yeah, we're pushing beyond realms of comfortable cases at that point. Okay, before I do this, I am gonna go ahead and just sit, hook them up. Putting all the Legos together. There we go. Flip it over. Seal this one up. Grab our one for our in input. Okay, so there's that, all ready for us. So I want this with the fans, this on this side, because we can do Oops. There you go. Making sure we have the orientation here for everything correctly.
And there we go. How's everybody doing? You know, let me just take a second. Welcome everybody to uh, Roby Tech. And uh, we are here celebrating the launch of the 14900KS by building a beautiful system uh, using this brand new CPU from Intel. It is the creme de la creme, if you think about it. It's like above the K, right? It is a limited edition CPU that is specifically targeted for either those folks who are coding, uh, basically ed video editing, like serious productivity where you see the biggest leap, that's like 10 to 15% in terms of the overall compute power. And then for gamers, um, you know, you're looking to one to 3% really at 1080p gaming. But uh, again, it's also for people who wanna break records, who really wanna push it, who really wanna basically have the best of the best. And that's essentially what we're building today. And we're building a beautiful system to pair with it. So what are we putting inside of it? So we're putting inside of this the Intel i9-14900KS limited edition CPU, the MSI MPG Z790 Carbon Wi-Fi motherboard, the Gigabyte NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090. Uh, we've got three terabytes of Kingston Fury Z uh, Renegade RAM, uh, sorry, Renegade storage, uh, 6,000 6, megabytes of 32 gigs of, NVM of, um, of RAM, uh, a custom Lee and Lee 011 Evo RGB Black done by Blue Horse Studio, celebrating the Year of the Dragon, and then of course that it's it's a great PC uh, design. Fantex Glacier One 420 D30 AIO, and then we have the MSI MPG A1000 uh, power supply, and then we're using D30 fans throughout the entire case just to make sure it's getting plenty of airflow to make sure we feed that AIO. So that's what's happening today. Uh, yes. People are saying, hey, is the KS, it's just a bend K uh, with the ability to pull 6.2 gigahertz on a single core, 5.9 all core, and then you can do 5.7 on some additional cores. It's still the same 16 thread, th uh, sorry, 16 core, 32 thread uh, CPU that you guys are used to. Um, but uh, again, uh, pulling a higher wattage and all that sort of stuff um, to basically give you the best performance. This is something we've seen since 12th gen with 12900KS, the 13900KS, and the 14900KS. We have tested five CPUs. You are able to cool it on a 360 millimeter AIO, but you need very powerful fans. So things like uh, Fantex D30s, etc. But ideally we're recommending a 420 millimeter, uh, which we are basically testing today. So. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. I think I just, I really wanted to give you guys a, a, a rundown of the build that we're doing and all that sort of stuff and welcome you to the show if you've never seen the show today. We have literally 4,100 people watching right now, 670 over on, uh, 670 over on uh, Twitch. Uh, we have another uh, 164 hanging out over on YouTube. So thank you very much for everybody who's hanging out. Uh, and watching the show. Really appreciate you guys being here uh, and enjoying it. We stream every Saturday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 4 p.m. Pacific time. And then of course, we also release YouTube videos and all that sort of stuff as well. So also, if you want to continue the conversation, head over to discord.gg slash robytech. Great place to just meet friends, hang out, and it's also required if you want to win the PC. Now, for giveaways, we're giving away at least $150 new a gift card on our way to 14600K. Every, if you have, if you are subscribed on Twitch to Twitch.tv slash Robitech, you do get additional entries towards winning the PC. The PC is available to US, Mexico, and Canada. And then if you want, you do not need to be subscribed to win. Also, subscribers, also, there's this PC that's also up for grabs. It's a Project Zero build using the Intel 14600K and a 4070. That is a sub-only PC for the month of February and March. And all you got to do is be, uh, all you have to do is have a prime sub to be eligible. But if you're, uh, if you subscribe at tier one, you get three entries, tier two, five, tier three, 10, and then every gifted sub gets you an additional entry. So good time to sub because we have a lot of PCs and stuff that we're giving away. And we love to do stuff like that all the time. Um, lastly, in the Monday build, we will be giving away that Gleam via Gleam, that custom water-cooled 14900KS system as well. So trying to think, Anything else that I missed? I love, I love you guys hanging out. I appreciate you being here. Uh, and you know, we just have fun and build PCs and have a good time. So yeah. Um, it looks like I'm frozen. Am I frozen to anybody else? No. Gleam nope, Link is not go up here. yet. No, okay, cool. I just, it's just being, it seems like my Twitch stream froze. Okay, good. I thought I was just like, it really liked that pose. So I'm gonna. Oh, it's because, oh, I know why. It's because I'm, you can't show, show restream at the same time. I'm just gonna do this, there we go. 
So anyway, guys, it's good to see you. Welcome to the show. Uh, we're going to get back to building now in our regular scheduled program. And I am paying attention. So Zeistin and those guys have a tendency to pull out questions. But it, sometimes I just feel like you guys like to chat. And not, I don't even need to be here. I'm just the entertainment. You get yourself a noisy Butters over in YouTube chat. Wait, Butters is here? Holy moly, noisy Butters. What's up, my girl? If you guys do not know, probably one of the sweetest human beings in the world. Hopefully, we're going to get to do some more cool stuff together. Um, and uh, she's absolutely uh, the most rad person. Uh, she's been very busy building some PCs as well. You should definitely check out her content. She's semi-good at COD. Um, not as good as me, but she's still pretty good. Um, and then uh, her favorite game is not COD. Her favorite game is actually Dave the Diver. But no, we're uh, hopefully we'll do more. Uh, are you going to PAX East, Noisy? I'm, I'm assuming no, but... That sounds like a 1v1 challenge. Only if you're yeah, blindfolded you... and uh, not playing. <laughs> I think you set yourself up for that one. <laughs> that is true. I pretty much just walked right into, uh, right into that one right there. Dang it. My stupid mouth. Just trying to make jokes, and now I'm here having to build PCs. Oh, I like the Roby Cat with the Noisy. Have you ever seen this? It's making its way around the internet. The the Roby Cat pillows coming to a uh, it's coming to an Urban Outfitter near you. So, Alex has one. Sarah has one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. Just finishing up our build with uh, putting out the last of the Lego pieces. Things just look like a unified PC build. Oh yeah, dude, you need to be terrified from all directions. I don't leave. I don't leave just one side terrifying. I leave all sides terrifying. There we go. Okay, guys, build uh, the uh, 420 million. This is the beast that is going to well, cool our 14900KS. We're just getting it prepped. Wow, we have a flex one. Wow, we got all sorts of stuff going on with uh, Robitech in the uh, uh, Robicat and the uh, in the chat right now. Okay, boys and girls, let's get this in. See if it fits. It's always the question. Oh, I can take this here. Let me, let me take the, uh, let's just take the, go to static here. Oops, not stat, static, there we go. Roby, it's being them. asked in Twitch, are you gonna be doing any streaming from PAX East? No. We are doing live builds, but unfortunately no, no, um, no streaming. Nobody had the infrastructure for it. Sorry guys, so no Saturday build this week, but don't worry, we're done after this for a while. I want this on the back, so. Feels like if I turn it. <laughs> uh, Cole Martin over on YouTube says, "In the night, the Roby Cat screams for bubble waffles." Oh, that's so true. I feel like. Hold on one sec. It feels like on.
Trying to see how this. Okay, so that goes like that. Hold on one sec, guys. Where's our Lee and Lee instructions? in this box. There we go. I might have to use this bracket here, so I'm trying to figure out how to install the 420. I know it fits a 420 at the top. Okay, so you need an L and M bracket. Okay, so I do need this. Okay, so you take out this. This is not used for a 420 millimeter AIO. And this goes in it. So I gotta figure out how this goes in it though. top down. So this is actually a little bit more complicated when we're putting something big in. You have to use their special bracket to do the installation for 420. We're stretching our we're stretching our our installation of the no one one. Looks like it drops the the the, the bracket quite low. But Okay, next one. At least they made it so you can't really install it wrong. I mean, I can try and find a way, but I don't think you can. There we go. Uh, Scott Wind, for the most part, AIOs are all universal. It's going to come down to which bracket. So you're going to want to pair a size based off which CPU you get more than what AIO is compatible with what CPU. Yes, he's, he's basically correct, right? Like there's certain, because of how much heat 
or wattage a certain CPU uses, that's how you choose which AIO goes with it. Since we're using a big, like the beefiest of CPUs, that's why you have the beefiest of AIOs to go with it. This will fit in there, I'm guessing now. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Now to find out how this goes inside of the case. Uh, Shonda, they are legit keys. They have been verified. There is nothing fishy about them. Uh, there we go. Okay, here we go, guys. How does this bracket work is the question. I wonder if it has to like be underneath maybe. Oops, wait. If I put this in the right way. Have a good night, Noisy. See you later, Noisy. Thank you for stopping by. Sorry, I'm trying to solve the, the something I've never done before. So I did not mean to not chat with you. Okay, so how does this bracket go in there? <laughs> oh, wait, I bet you this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I think I know how this goes in now. Okay. So now this is what mounts to the, this, the, the 360 probably mounts on top of this. Or something like that, yeah. There you go. Sorta. The screws on the left don't really go in. Okay, I'm gonna look at the instructions because I thought I had it all solved and then I realized there's another step. It's like how to do a 420 is not as straightforward. Okay, so I gotta use their screws. And the question is, is that's the back. This is the way you want it for sure. Just trying to see where they want this to go. Yep, it's right there, okay. Okay, so I think what they want is they want this inside here first. There we go. So you keep this, you do not take this out. There we go. Okay, and then now I need some screws from a plastic box in here.
Yeah, no, these are then. Well, now sometimes when you do this, you're like, oh, I wonder what these screws are for. Now I know. So you have to use a special kind of screw here. Okay. There we go. Now what we do is. Oh, man. Okay, there we go. Okay. We almost got it, guys. you have that all right so there it is there's a 420 inside we're gonna screw it down more interesting thing is like how these other so that's how you get a 420 in. it's a much more complicated process but it's doable okay yeah definitely a big boy in here yes the cooler block will reach the CPU The one screws for this are a little bit more difficult than I thought. They're a little bit, you have to like. So yeah, it does fit a 420 with a special bracket that comes with it, but it's not it's not as straightforward as installing a 360, but we have it in, it's set, we're good. Yeah, and we definitely, you cannot, you, there's only one way that you can install this, like the hoses, we're not gonna go the other way. I kinda knew that. We can still get to, yep, yeah, we can still get to our, our cables and everything else. Wow, that is a complicated process, but you know, once you know how to do it, it's not as bad. It's a lot of little extra step, but that is a big AIO in there. Cool, I like it. It's installed. I knew that was kind of the biggest question I had. I knew it fit and it said it was a bracket required, but it wasn't entirely clear what bracket required meant so now we know it's a bracket that comes with a case okay next up guys let's get this mounted and uh, basically our build is pretty close to done Ooh, that room on that is just yeah that's interesting there is when I look at I'm just gonna show you guys this is interesting for cable running, go into our thing. Look at how close, I mean, these cables, I mean, this is like really close there. It's not actually, it's got plenty of height, but it's just about running cables here in terms of just how basically close that 
this is to basically be able to hit, right? So not a lot of room there, but still, it looks good. I'm glad we got it figured out. All right, let's get our, let's get our cold plate in and get that installed. Yeah, it's a tight fit. Okay, here we go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna remove our pre-installed thermal paste and then put in our new stuff. Use our new, our current stuff that's already in there. Wow, that was some actually thick thermal paste. Yeah, their their thermal paste on those AIOs is actually fairly good for. It's like I was like, dang, that was like that was like legit. Yeah, thermal paste, thermal take, thermal paste. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not quite wide enough to hit the higher IHS, so just gonna be extra careful there. <sighs> Grab a drink. Tim, I will tell you that is not going to be the case. <laughs> what was the uh, what was the double rad custom loop running on this the other day? Eighty nine. Yeah, it'll be it'll be quite warm. And it's it's. I mean, I'm not mad about. It. I'm just letting you know it's going to be quite warm. I'm not trying to be snarky, it just, we already know. It'll be probably under load, it'll be in the 90s. Might be in the 80s, I mean, this is a great AIO. But. Our, our conversation that was going on over there on YouTube, my, my guess, synthetic benchmarks is 88 to 92-ish. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it'll run quite warm, and that's, that's okay. Like, they, there's nothing wrong with that temp. No, these these, 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 newer are, CPUs. these CPUs are made to run like that all the time. Yep, they're they're a workhorse. Yeah. Uh, what's what's max watt load on the uh, depends there? the motherboard. It all changes based on the motherboard. So I've seen as high as 350 and as low as 300, and I've seen the Cinebench score be the same on all of those. I think they're gonna have to, I'm, I'm guessing, and this is just, this is pure speculation, that there's gonna be a microcode update, similar to what we've seen with some of the other ones, that as they get the efficiency down, that will drop the wattage. But right, right now, I don't think motherboard, like nobody really kind of up, as far as I can tell, nobody really updated the motherboards to support the KS. Like it just, yeah, it, was, was it say, just worked. I was gonna say, I didn't think there was a BIOS update for the KS, at least as of, Two days ago, yeah. I've seen reviews say up to 400 watt, I don't know. but that I've depends on that. the VRMs and the cooling solution too. Yeah, I've never seen that. We've tested five of them, but the other thing too is like I will tell you, like some of that can be is like it depending on what reviewers are doing, which a lot of times is just letting motherboards do whatever the heck they want, which I never recommend, by the way, guys. Um, 
that that stuff can come true, right? We're just a lot smarter about letting Intel CPUs do what Intel CPUs do. And the only two is that I know with the stuff that I've seen is that they're not, they're reporting Cinebench scores that we've seen that are actually lower than what you'll see on our stuff when we run it at stock settings. So there's no reason to run that kind of wattage. I apologize for spacing his name, but one of your employees who you built a PC for on the show, you hit like 380 on one of the previous models. It was like the T30 360 that was used, remember? We hit 380 on a KS? On one of the previous Intel, Intel CPUs, yeah. Oh, yeah. You were oh, using the Glacier 1 T30. Yeah, that was back before we did this, before we used to set Intel stock settings, though. So, like I said, now, I mean, most of the time, like, a, like, a, like we'll see, like, 270, 250, 270 on a, on a K. So. And this isn't, I'm not arguing, right? I'm like, I still think that, I'm just saying that, like, I feel like we're not seeing higher Cinebench scores with insane amounts of wattage, right? It's just, you have to, like, play, I think it's just, it's one of those things that it's better to kind of tune yourself or use, like, the 90 watt or whatever it was. But, I mean, I've seen stock ones that run at 40K on a Intel 14900K, but I do know that Kelt bends his 14900Ks. Yeah, I, I'm just sorry I can't remember his name right now because you did a full show of him on it. Oh, it's all good. No, I believe you. I just think that with something that we have changed uh, recently, so I'm I, like, I'm not saying that you're wrong. I actually don't. I actually believe you're correct. I'm just saying that us setting Intel stock settings has been something we've done more recently, which is why our temps have become so much lower. So, okay, guys. So we got that in. We're just gonna run from there. So you're not, I don't think you're wrong, or, I, nor am I disagreeing with you. And that's why we have our text, because they, uh, they remind me and keep me accountable. So Northwind Streak, uh, you, uh, like I just, we recommend setting Intel stocks, so turning off things like MCE on Asus, uh, setting Intel stock turbo settings on ASRock, um, and then on um, on MSI, which you'll see today, choosing tower cooler, not box cooler, because box cooler, we actually saw that it limited the wattage that the uh, CPU was able to do. That's why I think there's some microcode updates that are gonna have to happen because it's saying 253, which is actually the stock for a, stock for a KS, um, which you can turbo higher, but it's like literally limiting the CPU. So it's not letting the CPU determine its stuff. It's like, it's actually setting them. Gosh, darn it, come on. I've literally spent most of my time, guys, trying to grab this stupid, okay. This, this reminds me of you attempting to get a fan header out of some VRMs. Yeah, I'm like, there we go. I just want these cables here to be barely visible. Uh, Threat 209. They did a video um, earlier. A 360 millimeter AIO will cool this without throttling, but you were right there at the limits. Yeah, we we so if you look at we actually will provide the data, and our our techs provide it, and we'll link it. But that was all done with the 360 millimeter radiator, and we tested five of them, and they were all in the they, uh, like average was at 94. But you, we were using D30 fans. And we tested five different CPUs, five different KSs. So we could have like good numbers, etc. Like I said, it's it takes work to cool it. This is not the average man CPU. This is for high productivity, high, like you're trying to get the most out of it. It's like when you think about cooling a McLaren, right? It uses titanium and it uses gold, right? Like things that are extremely powerful for heat conduction. It's kind of the same, or sorry, heat reduction, right? That transmit heat, same thing with this. It's just, it's gonna require something beyond what you're, 
you typically use. Okay guys, that was kind of the last hard part, which is figuring that part out. So now, we can put in our other bits. We're at the end of this build. I just gotta run one fan cable, and then we're uh, cooking with gas. Okay. Oops. <laughs> so there's our build as it sits now, looking pretty, pretty good. So I have all of the RGB in the back now. Let's go back here, and now that we have all the cables and stuff. So all this stuff is gonna daisy chain together. So this is all daisy chain, daisy chain, daisy chain. Daisy chain. And then, grab this one. Oops. Okay, grab this one right here. And this is gonna plug into our RGB. Now the question is how many RGB headers do I have at the top? We just have to figure that out. I looked earlier, you should have three five-volt ARGB headers one at the top, two at the bottom. Yeah, that's what I was hoping you wouldn't say, but oh, I'll, actually it'll be okay. I'll use the one at the top for the fans and the one at the bottom for the case. It's open for, yeah, I just realized that actually works out perfectly. Thank you, thank you for telling me that. All right, so that's that. So what we're gonna do, seal this off. Okay, now this is gonna run up here along with this. And these are the last two kind of cables that need to be hooked up to the motherboard for everything to work. So this is our CPU fan header and our ARGB for our, for the MOBO here. Ugh. That build's starting to get a little heavy yet there, Roby? No, it's not so bad. So the ARGB header's on the side. Okay, that's good to know. That doesn't, that does change a little bit what I just did. I'll show you guys via filming cam here in a minute what I did here with the CPU fan. Okay, so it's actually not so bad. It's, I mean, don't get me wrong, it is hefty, but not, 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 not the worst. Not, dude, that NV7 build that the, that Nene and Josh made, that mm -hmm. thing, hot, heavy. Okay guys, so whoop, whoop. I don't know why I'm putting it on flash. So this right here is where I ran the cable that I just ran through the back. That's it, I'm gonna move this around here. Just gonna scoot that up. We're gonna were run it out of the to... side. You'll see it come out here in a minute, there it is. Were you attempting to create your own rave there? Yeah, I was apparently. And then this is gonna plug in right here. And that is all of our fans hooked up to our MOBO. Okay, so there's all of our fans. Down here at the bottom, we have a number of ARGB headers. So what we're gonna do is there's one ARGB header right here. I'm gonna push that through down there. And then it's gonna come out right here. 
plug that right And sorry, this took, I, I know you guys are probably like, why are you hooking it up now? The main reason being is that uh, because I didn't know how RGB was gonna come together yet, so I wanted to wait until the end to be able to get all that stuff kind of plugged in. So now I've got all of this, I now have all of the cables for the motherboard plugged in. So now what I'm gonna do is just do this last cable management and then we'll put in our GPU and then PSU and we're done. Okay, there we go, top down. Grabbing the rest of what we need for putting away, just keeping our area clean. Oops. Yeah. That's the important part, right? Keeping the area clean. Keeping things organized. Okay. So now that we have all this plugged in, we can try and figure out how to wrestle up this. Like, we're not gonna be, we're not gonna do anything crazy it's probably just more gonna be like, how do we get this into controlled chaos here? Controlled chaos, AKA 94 zip ties. Yep, 9,400,000,000 zip ties, yep, exactly. Okay, there we go. So what we're gonna do here, there's like one that's kind of zip tied. Yeah. And it may not be that many zip ties, but you're still not entirely wrong, Mr. So uh, 90, 93 then? Okay. You, you've been hanging out with me too much. <laughs> okay, so there we go. That'll take care of this. Okay. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to simply this up put this underneath we still have we still have the extensions to do but It's being asked in chat, have you ever built an Lee and Lee V3000? No. I don't even know what that is. Is that an old case? That was newer. It was released around the time of the Lancol 3, and it's huge. I've never built in that now. Takes care of that. Okay, now what we're gonna do real quick is just get this cleaned up and then all of our all of our zip ties and stuff are done. In terms of the 
like the heavier wave. Like this is like the, the, the hard part of the cable management is now finished. Now we're just gonna work on getting cable extensions in and all that sort of stuff. There we go. Blondie says you have a request to hydrate. Okay, I will do that here in a minute. Thank you guys for taking good care of me. And it's being asked, um, they're one pros and cons, but in your experience, um, differences between thermal paste and graphene sheets. So I just know the only thing is, especially the higher in graphene, the sheets, the higher in sheets are actually conductive. So they're a little bit more risky to install. Um, but I have heard, I have only heard, and I have never tested, so to be super clear, I've only heard good things. Like they, they, they actually do a very good job with, um, but you just have to be very precise in your cut because if you get off the edge, uh, it can fry things. So that's looking pretty thing. good. Okay, what do we need? Okay, so let's flip this over. Ugh. I think. There we go. Okay. Let us get our GPU in. And then, guys, it's just starting to go downhill, like in a, in a, in a good way, not a bad way. But one thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install our sag bracket. Again, grab the book because it's not entirely straightforward how to do this, and, I, and I've done it once and I don't remember. Wait, what? Oh, okay, good. Whew. You guys couldn't see it, but judging from judging from his voice, he almost had a heart attack over there. Yeah, because it was like I, I I don't I was like I, I was like I don't remember this doing requiring this, but apparently there's a way to do it so before you put in the p the the before you put in the motherboard. I was like uh. What? And so then I was like, oh, never mind. There's the version I was looking for. Why would anyone want to put something in the way before the motherboard? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to install the bracket. Wait, what's going on here? There's literally a piece stuck. Okay. So, oh, oh, that's not. There's a screw stuck inside of the little thing to help me screw this on. Uh, Spitfire, no, no one really does. Um, 
sound cards are honestly not needed for the everyday user anymore. Yeah, they have really nice DACs in a lot of the... Sure there's plenty of us in here who remember that threat. Well, that's not cool. He's not staying in there. Okay, if that works. Oh crud, oh there it is. Really? Oh, there's no threading. The threading on this piece is non-existent. It's like it's a defective piece. Well, that's not good. Yeah, the, the tall thing that they gave, like, here, I'll zoom in on it so you guys can see. Oh, uh, here, let me see if I can do it on the side camera here. So essentially, this, I'll see if we can get it to focus here. So essentially you can, like basically there's no ridges on this screw. So it has like no, it has like no, no threads. So it's like, why is this not catching? Well, that's because there's no threads on it. Bad job at the mill on that one. Yeah. The question is, <laughs> I don't know what to do because I don't have a one of those. Which I mean, I guess we can do a, po a pole, which is fine. Cause they, it should be able to fit. No, because these rotate. So we may have to do a non-standard. I'm gonna see if I happen to have one more tall standoff, but I don't think so, guys. Which is not a big deal. I mean, we we can use one of the black staffs. I was just trying to use the other one because it keeps it hidden, but. Not overly worried about it. Okay, well, I guess we're not using this cable. We're not using the, the. Not using this. Hmm. Now guys, as we're getting close to the end of this build, couple things, one, if you want to win the PC, you do need to be a member of the Robitech Discord. You do need to be following on Twitch and you need to be following on YouTube and you need to be, uh, sorry, you need to be subscribed on YouTube, you need to be following on Twitch and you have to be a member of the Robitech Discord. So I would do those things while you have the chance now because if we draw the winner and you have not done them, then you will not be eligible for the PC. Also, if you are a subscriber on twitch.tv slash Robitech, you do get additional entries. You do get additional entries towards winning the PC. You do not need to be a subscriber on Twitch to win. You just get additional entries if you are a subscriber. So just want to clarify that in advance. So if you want to drop your Prime sub, anything like that, now is a good time to do that stuff in preparation. And as Blondie said, you know, we'd always love to be followed and liked on Twitter and Instagram as well. So we're getting really close to being done with the build. So that means we're getting close to being done with 
to doing the giveaway. So we're gonna have to do a poll post for these the um, sag bracket. It's unfortunate because that sag bracket's actually quite nice. Okay. Oh, this is actually quite low. We may not even need, we may, this might be like the world's, we gotta low this, the MOBO, I mean the, this might be super, luckily I have some small. Some small sag brackets. Gigabyte 4090, but it's kind of below the. Okay, I'm gonna grab a sag bracket real quick, a small one. Card's so big that even without those fans, I don't think my Corsair sag bracket would fit in there. No, you need the small ones. Considering you know my sag bracket's the one to fit the LC100 triangles. Okay. Sag brackets in. Okay, let's run our cables. And then go from there. It's just PSU and we're done. Uh, Northwind, that, that particular sag bracket's just um, friction fit. And it hasn't been done in a while, to my knowledge, Roby. They're asked, they want to know how that PSU smells. Oh, we'll have to open it when we get to it.
Okay, let's uh, get this run. Ugh. This is gonna be interesting, guys. might actually want to run this before I put in the GPU. Now that I'm seeing this. Yeah, good luck getting your hand in there otherwise. Yeah, like I'm like, oh, this is not going in very easily. why it's funny because people are like why don't you use a lazy susan because of things like this where gpus don't quite go in they go in just way safer when you yeah i do not like putting in a gpu while they're standing up yeah i mean i still enjoyed using it for the little bit i used it for but There's just a lot more pushing against things and stuff like that that having the, having the desk to push against just seems to work a whole lot better. And Exaday, to answer your question, um, I'm a firm believer that anyone can build a computer, experience or no experience. It's just all about taking your time and not rushing. I will say, and I and I and I'm I'm with Zeiston on that. Like I, I I do agree. I think the only thing I would say is like there is like definitely a if you're gonna build your first one. Like there's a certain like hey you may want to be a little cognizant about trying to choose stuff that's a little bit more beginner friendly. That but, I can agree on hundred percent. But sometimes it's just like you, you like what you like, right? And that's always the problem. And so it becomes hard to be like, well, I wanna, I wanna do this or I wanna do that. It's like, okay, I understand, but just understand that you know, if you're building something with like 37 million RGB fans and they're all Corsair QL, it may not be the best experience. Why do I feel like that was directed at me? Oh, it wasn't. I was just saying, like, <laughs> those require a lot of fans. Okay, guys, we're almost, we're just putting in our, just got two of these extensions and then extensions, PSU, and turn it on and test thermals. And that's all we got left, guys. Cables I do not need. Do not need you. Do not need you. I do need you. I do need you. Okay.
Okay, guys. I feel like you guys are gonna start getting excited here pretty soon because I know that we are getting very close to turning this on. So for people who don't know, the PC that we're building today, just to recap the parts, because we still have a lot of people here tonight, uh, we are dealing with a Core i9-14900KS. Uh, we have the MSI NPG Z790 Carbon Wi-Fi motherboard. We're using the Gigabyte NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090. We have three terabytes of Renegade RAM, uh, sorry, three terabytes of Renegade Gen 4 NVMe storage. We have a uh, 6,000 mega transfer, 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM. We have the custom Lian Lee 011 Evo RGB in black. That was done by our man uh, Ron from Blue Horse Studios. We have the Fantex Glacier One 420D30 cooling the KS. Plus we have D30 fans throughout the entire case. And then we have the MSI MPG A1000G PSU um, to basically make sure we have all the power that we essentially need for uh, making sure that thing is awesome. You know what I mean? Like that's the part that you got to make sure that is uh, it's amazing. So yeah, that's the uh, build that we are building today, and we are literally just down to some uh, some some cable extensions and a PSU, and then we're turning it on. The dragon's name is Robicat. Is that, is that what it is? Or it's Puff the Magic Dragon. Yeah, CGI work for this would be amazing. Um, there's a lot of stuff that could be really good. By the way, guys, let's finish out. Let's try and give away a 14600K. We have a 14900KS up for grabs. Remember, we could do another hype train. We're, we're there for another hype train. We'd unlock another gift card giveaway. We're not that far away. And on top of that, you're talking about giving extra entries for winning the PC and this gift, this uh, PC here in the back as well. This does not weigh 500 pounds, not even close. Okay, there we go. that there we go perfect now all we have is left is the ones up in the top corner. Which I'm a little worried about these. These seem a little challenging because they gotta clear through a pretty tiny hole. But we'll figure it out. They've gotta squeeze through a little tiny hole, but at least it's not the days where the EPS connectors themselves were right behind the fan. Yeah. Over 9,000. Tom, Tom says, Roby, that uh, he knew you were going to change that 16 pin to the white instead of the black. Oh, yeah. We, we, the black uh, didn't come in. So blame Amazon, Tom. 
I wanted to do the black, but it didn't come in in time. Ooh, that looks so good. Wow, that just holds just perfectly. That's okay, Tom's allowed to hate me. If Roby equals Amazon, then I will blame them. <laughs> Yeah, I think the only hiccup we really had on this build, guys, was the um, only hiccup we really had on this build was the was the, the 420 bracket. Just figuring out how that whole thing worked. 420 bracket, and then the GPU sag bracket. That's it. Yeah. There we go. This has just enough room for these cables. It's like Lee and Lee knew what they were doing. trying to do is make sure that the, there we go, oh, it's so cool, okay, cool, okay, guys, cable extensions are in, we're at the end, Top down. Finish our little bit of cable manage we have left. Hey, real panty bear. Thank you very much for the raid. Okay, guys, all of our cables are in now. There's our build. Now all we gotta do is get this, get this in. This is the end. Come out a bit. Go. Time for the PSU time. Time for that thousand watt PSU. Just don't forget your sniff test. And I'll do the sniff test. Sniff test, guys. Thank you for reminding me. Last component. Luckily, we don't need all the cables. It's gonna be nice. Okay, let's see how this bad boy smells. Ugh. Oh, oh, 
that one's that one's extra stinky. I think this one forgot deodorant this morning, guys. I think it forgot the deodorant. It's a little. I mean, it's. I'd recommend it for this, given that it's a KS. So I would say a. I would say a thousand. A thousand watts on this build makes a lot of sense. Is that really, blue, f is that really a thing? That's pretty funny if they really did that. Need some, need some Axe body spray. Some PSU body spray. No one needs Axe body spray. Oh yeah, here we go guys. Getting all our cables out here. Okay, there's all our cables. Okay, let's go here. What do we need? We do not need that. We do need this. Need that. Need that. Need one of these. Is there one with less? Nope, they all have a lot. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Do not need that. Okay. Okay. Oh, I gotta find, where's my realize I'm missing something. I'm missing the PSU. Well, I got, they're in the Lee and Lee box, but can't see any in the box. So I'm going to go look and see where the PSU stuff is. Nothing in there. I'm missing the PSU screws. Maybe they're in the bottom of this thing. Yeah, I hear it. Yeah, they are. Found them. They Found the PSU screws. I'm not screwed. Those oh, no, are just standard 632 screws anyway, so it shouldn't matter. Yeah, but I'd rather use the ones that they gave me because they have special power support. <laughs> oh, here we go, boys and girls. Last cables. CPU cable. CPU cable. SATA cable. And finally, our PSU cable. The big, the big 24 pin. Wow. There we go, okay. And then, last cable we'll put in is here. It's our 16 pin power cable. 24 pin, 16 pin, however you wanna say it. There we go. Pops out a little bit down here, so. There we go, giving that little extra space. What's up, Robert Lee? How are you? Guys, we're 30. Uh, well, let's see if we can get to uh, let's see if we can get to 30 subs. Let's see if we do two. If we do 200, I'll do the 400, 14, 600K. If we do 200 subs, I'll do the 14, 600K. Let's see if we can get those 200 
at least give away a 14-6. So FG Epidemic is getting it started. 29 subs away from giving away a 14-600K. You guys can make it happen. There we go, we got Mo Mon Boon jumping in there. Okay, let's grab our PSU. There's this whack, whack, there it is. There we go, Cheese It Junkie dropping in. And a hype train has just begun, guys. So we can get, remember, if we get 25, we'll give away a $25 new gift card. At level five, we'll give away a $25 new gift card right away. DMAT going in there. We're at level three already, remember. And if we get to level 10, it becomes $100. Igor dropping 10 gifted subs. Guy Dewar jumping in there, eight months subscription. Tartar sauce, I like it. knees up PC guy dropping five gifted subs J Square dropping a gifted sub. Okay, let's get this in here. Dr. McNugget, there we are, 200 guys. So here we go. Keep it going, if we got, we gotta finish level five though. Level five. Now remember, okay, we are 300. So remember, if we get to 300, then it's a 14700K. You guys are almost there already. And if we get to a hunt, if we get to, uh, if we get to, uh, so we're getting there. Keep it going, guys. Remember, if we get to level 10, then we'll give away $100. Do the Drew, dropping a three. There you go, keep it going. What's up, buddy? It's good to see you do the Drew. Okay, there we go, guys. Ugh. Ugh. 213, keep it going. We're at level six. Remember, if we get a couple more level, I mean, if we get to level 10, it's $100 cash.
Electrothermal, do the Drew dropping it in there. Ooh, shoot. That would have been bad. Keep it up, guys. Ugh. We have more CPUs to give away. Yeah, no, I just dropped the glass. I don't think Ron would talk to you for a while if you did that. <laughs> yeah. You'd be like, what happened? One thing it looks like got to fix. There we go. Level six a tree, uh, achieved. <laughs> latrine. Level six latrine. Level six achieved, guys. Keep it going. Making micro adjustments. We can get to level ten, right? That's a hundred. That's a that's a hundred dollars, and we could do a fourteen seven. I'm guessing. Giveaway. The Wum Slayer. We're super close to 225, which would be the original goal. Can somebody just get us there? We're at like, we need like 10. Help, help, help a brother out. Get us to two, get us there. Ugh. But we're, you guys unlocked it anyway. There we go. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, last little bit. Hey, we've got a blade office. Hey, what's up, blade of ice? <laughs> or blade office. There we go, dragon is on, guys. And there's your other 10, there's your other 10 subs. Hey, Norix, thank you very much. That takes us to 226, we're level seven. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the next goal up because I still think we can try and hit it because I know you guys want. So we're uh, literally 25, uh, 25 subs away, or 20, 74 subs away from a 14,700. 20 zip ties in just a second. It's cute. There we go. It's still going, guys. We can still make it happen. Let's do our zip tie count. Let me grab our roof here. Ugh. We're almost to level eight. We'll do that giveaway right when we, if we get to level ten. Ugh. 
J Square dropping 20 gifted subs. Holy moly, that's 250. We're now 50 subs away from a 14700K. We can make it happen, guys. We're doing that. Let's do our let's do our zip tie count. Is it odd or even is the question. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. There's five. One, two, three, four, five. There's ten. One, two, three, four, five, ten. It's fourteen, guys. It is even. Fourteen, five, ten, fourteen. There we go, guys. Even today. Okay, we are now at level nine. We have to finish level 10. If we wanna win the $100, I'll give that away right at the right when we hit it. And then we're gonna get ready to turn this bad boy on. Now it's heavy. Ooh, it's a hefty build but it's here. There we go, guys. Everything is ready for it. R2 Vec giving a one. We're getting super close to getting this done. Put your prediction in. Level, guys, we're 3% from level eight. We just gotta get to level eight and we're like literally, we're creeping up on a 14700K. And then I did hydrate, I've done hydrate a number of times, Blondie. It was even, Big Tony. Zig PC trying to get it there. Legion of Pyre dropping five. There it is, guys. Rastarka getting it in there. Now we're at level, so guys, we're getting very close at 14700K. And it just keeps j -Cuz dropping a six month at tier one. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna get the keyboard and mouse ready. And then once we're done with this, we are going to uh, give the PC away. Remember, as we're climbing up the ranks, if you drop a if you drop a build, if you drop a sub, you're entered to win this PC back here too. The sub only PC that gives you extra entries towards winning this as well, and it gives you extra entries towards winning that PC. But this PC is a sub only PC. So thank you very much for the 4.99, man. Uh, so again, it, dropping it is like you're just this is we're giving this away in nine days as well. So Devil Squirrel, thank you very much, guys. Let's let's finish that. We're almost to 14.7. I want to give away a 14.7. Death Nade will do it here in a bit. I'll show you. I'll tell you what how to enter. Stream Tech dropping a gifted sub. We got a Shura dropping with Prime sub. ZigPC still dropping those bits one at a time. 100 bits, I mean, one at a time, which is huge. Thank you, Zig. Okay, here we go, guys. Getting ready to turn it on. Three, two. There it is. Boom, all of them are on. 
What forever. Guys, we're getting the hype ready. We'll make it all blue here in a minute. Oh, the bottom fans are not spinning. That's weird. Did I not plug them in? All the other fans are spinning. So those fans I connected down at the bottom. So I'm wondering if... And it is posted, by the way. Five gifted subs from Elite Orange. They're lit, which is the weird part. Level nine's complete. Level nine complete, Jedi Spidey. And we're at 296. We're four subs away from 100. Okay, so we are posted, by the way. Here you go. You can see that we're posted. I'm just trying to find out why these, these are lit, but they're not running. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, oh, well, it does in case, like, I didn't plug in something here. The only thing I can think is that I didn't plug in... I forgot to take a plastic bit off. I forgot to take a plastic bit off. There we go. What did I not plug in? Okay. Just gotta fix that. High Country dropped another five gifted subs. Stream Tech dropped another gifted sub. And Michael Anthony dropped a gifted sub. I think I unplugged. Oh, I did. Okay. I know what I did. Okay, I'm gonna shut this down real quick and fix our fix our problem here. Figured it out. Easy to fix. And we are at oh man, this you can't see the message. 304, 304, and we're almost to level 10. I'm gonna do this. There it is, 14,900K, you're only, you're, you're really close. I'm gonna fix this one issue while we fix this real quick. It's only 50 subs away from a, uh, from a 14900K. Okay, let me get, they do, uh, OLED monitors are okay. They don't get terrible burn in. Okay, I'm hoping I'll be able to set this with the, uh, okay, I'm gonna go to side view here. Hopefully I'll be able to set this with a. So I disconnected the fan connection when I hooked this up. So I just gotta fix that. Take the GPU out again. Yep. Don't forget your uh, display port cables are still plugged in. Oh yeah, huh? Well, that's actually okay. Uh, wait a minute, no? Uh, it's not disconnected. Let me see what I, let me look at it here. Did you knock off the uh, cable pack from the fans? No, because they wouldn't get RGB if that was true. Oh, that's true. I wonder if it's something weird like you like I like okay that got is a different. minute left to complete level 10 of the hype train level 10 we got to get it we're at three we're keep going guys GT beaker man dropped another gifted sub and Miltor dropped five gifted subs we're getting there Okay, I'm gonna just turn this on to see if they spin. No, they do not. Oh, ow, that hurt. I wonder if it's, I, I don't think it's a bio setting. I think if those bottom ones are not on or something like that. Level 10 is complete. 
Okay, guys, a hundred dollar new a gift card done. Igor dropping ten more gifted subs. And we are twenty four su gifted subs. So, well, make that uh, fourteen gifted subs away from a fourteen nine hundred k giveaway. Okay, hey, well, I gotta turn this off because you gotta figure out how to. Do you have another what? fan header down there that's open to see yeah, if it's I just maybe switched the header? It over. That didn't do anything. I mean, the only thing I can think is there might be a bad cable, but but why would the fan like? It could be. Uh, yeah, but I switched it to. Well, I guess you'd switch one more. Let's jump over to this one and see if that fixes it. Just trying fan headers, guys. Multiple fan headers. Let's see if we can figure out why this isn't working. Yeah, you get a choice of three fan headers down there, so hopefully one works, but it, hopefully it's not the connection to the fans. Yeah, because that means. Nope, they're not spinning. I'm going to try and reseat the fans. Reseat the fan controller and just see if that fixes it. I think maybe. There, I'll, I'll drop the five to make sure that we get over that 350 mark. Reseated that. No, oh, they're spinning. Okay, so it just needs to be reseated. Okay, we fixed it. Okay, guys, it's all fixed. You guys unlock the next tier at the same time. You guys are just like basically being rock stars. I was like, I can't, I can't shoot this video if I, if I don't have bottom spinning fans anyway. Okay. Luckily, that's fixed. We're actually getting close to beating the uh, beating our last record. Well, as I'm well. gonna put the, I'm gonna put the next I'm gonna put the next one up, right, guys? We're at 353. I'm gonna make it close. I'm gonna make it easy, okay? Because you guys can make this happen, and we have two minutes and 29 seconds, and we're at 353. And if we hit this, I will also give you, I will also give away a mini chippy. So if we hit this goal, it's a 4900KS and we'll also give away a mini chippy. Very, very rare. That mini chippy would look awfully good here with my chippy keycap. Okay, that looks like it's good now. I'm gonna fix the sag here. Okay, guys, we fixed it. Milter dropped another 10 gifted subs. Okay, somebody really wants us to give away this 1400K S and this chippy. Okay, let's turn it back on. Limitless meta drop 10 gifted subs. Here we go, three, two, one. Now we all have spinning, everything is spinning. Okay, let's get it lit up to blue and all that sort of stuff and then go from there. Twenty subs away, guys.
Here, I'll, I'll put it up front so you guys can see it. Hold on. Since we're close. There you go. Three eighty seven, guys. Let's do blue. I don't know what it is, but your cable seems to be inconsistent. Like the video keeps going in. Yeah, I saw that. Whoa, that blue looks good. Okay, I'll fix that here in a Dude. minute. There it is, Dude, all the blue. We are eight subs away from a 14900KS giveaway. Trying to fix the top here. Be fixed here in the right color. And we are over 400 gifted subs. 400 subs, guys. Good job, you guys. And we've unlocked the chippy giveaway. I think I'll, no, nope, because that bottom one is green. Okay. I think it's hold. Anybody remember which one is the one that hold, makes it like switch to motherboard? There it is. Okay, holding the mold thing down. We need to switch cables. This thing is being ridiculous. Okay. Oh, hold on. I have to replace this cable, I think. Dang it. Fix this and then we'll let's do the hundred dollar new a gift card here in a minute. I mean a hundred dollar card here in a minute. Okay, here we go. Oh one sec. One sec guys. Hey Brian, can you bring me one of the 15 foot HDMI cables? The, not, the thin ones, the 15 footers, they're in a green thing. Thanks. Huh? No, it's not in a box, they're in a plastic. They'll say 15 feet, 8K. They're, they're, one, they're in green. They're thin, do you see them? Yeah. Cool, this cable is being wacky. Okay guys, we're gonna just replace this cable real quick. Let me do the $100 new gift card while we're at it. And then I'll give you guys a side view here so you guys can take it in. There's the build. Yeah, thanks. And then we'll start the giveaway process. We're gonna run our coloring here in a minute. We're gonna run our testing on it in here in just a second. But there's the build. Make sure you get your entries in. We have unlocked all of the giveaways tonight. So thank you.
There we go. Okay, so we got all that done. Just gotta do one more thing. I'm gonna pull this. Did you pull Brian away from work or did you pull well, Brian away Well, no, we have to shoot something Brian. after this with this build. You know, I, fi I figured he was just over there playing Rocket League, you know? Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, we're gonna jump into the BIOS here real quick. Let's check, okay, XMP is good. We're going to go to settings. Actually, we're gonna go to easy mode. We're gonna go to fan info. Jump into settings here. Change to PWM. And then we're gonna go smart fan mode. Smart fan mode. Everything there looks good. Okay, we're just making sure our fans are set. And then our cooling is already set for this. We're gonna hit F10. And there we go. So our fans don't run at ridiculously loud volumes when we do our testing here in a minute. Okay, while I'm waiting, let's do our $100 giveaway. Setting it up. Exclamation point community, exclamation point community starting right now, guys. Exclamation point community, $100 up for grabs. Going right now, four minutes. I right, the sub stuff now, because we're done. Roby, you had a question there in Twitch from Molixter asking how you were able to show the uh, BIOS screen. Uh, so I have a, I have a, I have a HDMI that allows me to show that. So um, via a capture card. Okay, guys, three minutes left. Okay, here we go. Let's see how this runs now. So let's check out our Cinebench here. Last part of the whole thing, and then we'll do the giveaway. Colors are all set, everything's done. Now we just get to enjoy this, and then we'll do the PC giveaway. So go ahead and do your stuff, guys. Make sure that you're, make sure that you're, uh, a member of the Discord, that you're following on Twitch, that you're following on Twitter, that you're following on, you're subscribed on YouTube. If you want to get your extra entries, drop your sub now because you want, you've got to be a sub to get your extra entries. You do not need to be subscribed to win. I'm just making sure that's all going in there. Let's take a look at our temps. Sitting at 35 right now. Go to advanced mode. We're going to go to 10 minutes. Here we go, starting our test right now. Let's see what this one does. It hasn't even gotten hot yet. There it is, 311. It's now it's starting to ramp up in terms of fans, but there it is, 90 degrees, and we pulled a whoa! 40,816 Cinebench score right there there we go baby 
And now the fans are starting to now the fans are starting to ramp up. 327 watts. Yep, it's it pulls power. Oh yeah. But I mean, look at I mean, dude, that score is ginormous. It's so big. <laughs> Okay, guys, 116 seconds again, showing that you can cool this, which is the standard configuration. And then, of course, this build looks absolutely stunning. You got to admit, right? Somebody who's going to be very, very happy to win this PC today. I'll fix one thing here. I guess I Whoops. I've moved stuff around somewhere. Looking like my temperature guess wasn't going to be too far off, too. No, that's what I expected. We already tested it. We knew. You weren't off. It runs warm, but at the same time, it, you know, this is, in gaming, you're not going to see a temperature like this at all. No, absolutely Gaming, not. you'll see, actually, we know for a fact, gaming is actually right on top par with the 14, actually a little bit cooler than the 14900K. So, uh, yes, Mafia, we tried to do one a quarter. Uh, 300 and we, watts did we draw a winner? Reason. I guess it didn't. I don't know. Congratulations to, there it is. Congratulations to E.E.L. Jedi. El Jedi 13, you are the winner of the $100. And then now what we're going to do, guys, uh, she's good. We are going to give away a 14900 KS. 14900 KS, because you guys unlocked it. Fourteen nine hundred KS, guys. Exclamation point Intel. Exclamation point Intel going right now. Exclamation point Intel, guys. 14900 KS up for grabs. And there is another view here of the side view of this beautiful system. Not gonna argue, it looks pretty dang good. RTX 4090 and a 14900KS. You know, that would look good, period, but Ron and Blue Horse, they knocked that out of the park. Yeah, it looks really good. Okay, guys. I would say that we're not going to get, yeah, like I said, it'll hit 95. It'll basically hit, maybe it'll hit 96. Average is about 95, but no problems whatsoever on temps. So hopefully that gave you a good idea. Uh, Roby, are you doing the chippy giveaway separately or with this? Uh, we'll do it separately. Feel like we, I think I feel like everybody wants a chance for the chippy. Oh yeah. Waiting for our winner. One minute and 24 seconds left, guys. One minute and 24 seconds left. Random words on the internet. Make sure that you guys drop those subs if you want to get those extra entries, guys. 
for the 14900KS, for the PC giveaway that we're gonna be doing in not too long from now, uh, and the chippy giveaway. Get you guys a good side view there. Let you enjoy the build as you're giving away a 14900KS. can no longer enter the raffle. Congratulations to Bear Raider. Bear Raider, you are the winner of the system. Congratulations, Bear Raider. Okay, next one. Bear Raider, make sure that you reach out to Blondie on uh, Whisper Blondie so she can verify all that sort of stuff. So. We're gonna find out for that. Make sure that you're subscribing on Twitch, guys. Make sure all that stuff is happening right now. Next one is Chippy. We're gonna be giving away Chippy. Uh, Ro Roby, just to confirm, it's being asked, was that the system or the CPU? That was the CPU. That was okay, not the you system. Said, you, you said system, no, no, so CPU. that's why that everyone was- No, CPU, that was the CPU. It's, uh, yeah. It, it, no, cheese a junkie, there's just enough people. You don't have to, it's, we were giving away the CPU. 1400KS CPU. Now, if you, when, if you want a CPU and then you win the other one, you just you, all you have to do is drop. You can just say I forfeit the CPU or whatever it was. Okay, you can still enter to win. You can't win both, so you can only win one thing. Okay, and make sure Blondie, make sure that uh, L Jedi and Bear Raider, you need to whisper Blondie on Twitch to claim your prize, or you're you're not gonna get it. Okay, so make sure that you whisper Blondie, but Geeky, she's putting it in the. She's putting it in there right now. Please make sure you whisper her. You need to You need to go. Guys, trust me, it's all in there. I saw it. You guys, your entries are there, okay? The winners for the last thing, just to announce for the last one, it was the 1400KS went to Bear Raider and the $100 giveaway went to L Jedi 13 Please make sure that you reach out to Blondie But Geeky. Guys, I haven't started the Chippy giveaway yet. It's not open yet. It's not open yet. Stop spamming. Because it's not open. Spamming can get you timed out, yeah. guys. You do not There's want no giveaway right now, levels. guys. Well, I can stop you because that's not the command to enter. <laughs> that will not get you. That will not get you entered, and then they can time you out. Um, anyway, guys, uh, that's okay. People are excited. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to make a new command. Anyway, uh, Blondie, am I okay to start the next one? Because I want to get this. We got to get through this. So, Okay, we are going to start the next one. This is for Chippy. Chippy exclamation point want chippy exclamation point one chippy <laughs> up right now guys we're gonna through four minutes exclamation point want chippy thank you very much for the five gifted subs by the way uh, green gams exclamation point want chippy guys
Okay, as we're doing this, remember if you win, you need to whisper Blondie but Geeky. You need to whisper Blondie but Geeky and let her know if you're gonna be eligible to win. Because if we don't hear from you and you don't confirm, you don't win the prize. And then we'll have to give it away in the future, okay? Exclamation point one cheaper. Now, I wanna remind people for the PC giveaway, here's what you gotta do. You have to be a member of the Robitech Discord, discord.gg slash Robitech. So please go make sure that you're joining that right now. Head over to discord.gg slash Robitech and join the Discord. Make sure you are following on Twitch. Make sure you are subscribed on YouTube. Those things will be verified at the time. If you are not already a member, you are going to redraw the prize. So you, I'm giving you plenty of warning at, at, that we're like three minutes from running that giveaway. I'm giving you plenty of warning so that we can make sure you go there. And remember, it's US, Canada, and Mexico. If you enter internationally, you are basically saying, I'm gonna pay for shipping and customs. So. And guys, as far as verifications go, the mod teams can see timestamp messages, so. Yes, they will know. Sure. Yep. Make sure it's done. Make sure it's done. Go do it. TJC, thank you very much. Ghost Knight, thank you for the community sub. Okay, we're going to draw our winner in one more minute. One more minute. That's totally fine, Electric Yoshi. 30 seconds left, guys, 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. It's not case sensitive, no. Ten seconds. It's going through. It's going through, guys. You are getting entry. Sometimes it just goes too fast. Okay, closing it now. Okay, uh, go ahead and pick the winner. Jim the Humanoid. Jim the Humanoid. You are the winner of the Chippy. Congratulations, Jim, uh, Jim the Humanoid. You are the winner. Make sure that you whisper Blondie but Geeky, so that way you can uh, you can get that done. Please whisper Blondie but Geeky, so you can make sure that you're good to go there. Okay, guys, big, big chance. Big prize, $4,000 system. Again, what we're gonna be giving away is we're gonna be giving away this right here, 14900KS, a MSI, uh, Carbon Z790 uh, Wi-Fi uh, graphic card is a GeForce, uh, sorry, Gigabyte NVIDIA RTX 4090, three terabytes of NVMe Gen 4 storage, 32 gigs of 6,000 mega transfer Kingston Fury RAM, the Lian Lee 011 Evo RGB Black, the Fansex Glacier One 420D30 Plus D30 fans, keeping the temperature on this at a nice and cool 93 to 95, and then we have the MSI MPG A1000G. PSU guys, so that is what is up for grabs right now. This is the system that we're gonna be doing. Make sure that you are a member of discord.gg slash Robitech. Make sure that you are following on Twitter, on Twitch. You are subscribed on YouTube and you are basically, you are over the age of 18, okay? All those things need to be true. Okay, so we're gonna verify all that stuff. So when we draw the winner, please don't leave because we may need to redraw. Okay? Exclamation point. Exclamation point, 14900 KS. Exclamation point, 14900 KS. Four minutes, giving it away right now. Four minutes, guys. Exclamation point, 14900 KS. If you do not see a right back, then don't worry, you guys, it did go through. Exploitation point, 14,900 chaos, guys.
Three minutes, guys. Now, what is happening, just while we're waiting for the last bit of this giveaway, um, in terms of what's happening here on Roby Tech. So there is no stream on Saturday. I am in PAX East, so if you are at PAX East, come see me. I'll be over at the SkyTech booth. We're giving away two PCs. Uh, to two lucky winners and the people get to build a PC with me. So that's happening on SkyTech on, Sky on Saturday and Sunday. And then we are back here at the Robitech studio on Tuesday for our next PC build, which we will know, you guys will know via the schedule and stuff when it comes out this weekend. So that's kind of the plan for the next couple days. So if you're in Boston area and you want to come see me and your hair packs, head over to SkyTech, I'll be there. Would love to basically uh, see you guys. Um, Love to see you guys and stay by, stop by and say hi. So that's what's uh, that's what's happening for the next few days. So hopefully safe travels and all that sort of stuff as well. Okay, guys, two minutes left. Two minutes left. Please make sure you're following. Make sure if you want to get extra entries, drop your sub real quick and then re-enter because that'll get you the extra entries. Make sure you're following on discord.gg slash robitech because we got to confirm right afterwards, okay? One minute and 44 seconds left, guys. DevBot, congratulations with the Prime sub. One minute, 20 seconds left, guys. Build looks really good, Zyson. Oh, that build looks fantastic. Like now that I'm like paying attention to it, like now that I'm done, like it's being given away. All I got to do is kind of look at it. It looks really good. <clears throat> now you're going. Can I sneak this one to the house? No, I don't. No, I'm okay. <laughs> I know, I know your wife's probably in the audience going, don't you dare. 44 seconds, guys. 44 seconds. Is uh, Braythorn streaming today or no? Mm, I'm not sure. Good luck, guys. 20 seconds. Well, that finishes out, I'll look. Okay, yeah, he's on. Okay, Bray's on. Okay, we'll yep. raid Braythorn at the end of this, guys. So please stick around. Give some love to Braythorn. It would be amazing to just, you know, throw him a pretty huge stream. Okay, congratulations. Two, one. Here it goes. Drawing our winner. Mikey P178. Mikey P178. You are the winner of the PC. Now, guys, we got to verify that the person actually won. We gotta verify that he's won. So just stand by. We'll see, hold on. Mikey P, can you say something in chat? Preferably highlight your message too so it doesn't get missed. Yeah, Blondie has said something. You need to whisper her now. He says he's here in chat, so he just needs to whisper Blondie. He says he's a longtime subscriber. That's amazing. Yeah, he's got a two-year oh, two, two year badge. Oh, two years, man. That's amazing. Yes. I love that. That's amazing. Somebody's been subscribed for two years. Let's go, Mikey. That's amazing. Congratulations. That's that's what you want to see, right? Like, is that a long time? Somebody who's been watching for a long time, well-deserved win. That's awesome. Mikey P, reach out to Blondie so we can just confirm. You know the drill if you've been here for two years. I'd hope so. We're going to be raiding Braythorn in just a few minutes, guys. Just please stick around if you can. Love to have Braythorn see 800 plus people just drop in. Mikey P is like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. He said they've seen him in Discord, so just confirming. Please stick around so we can raid Braythorn. You don't have to stay, you know, just him getting to have somebody like that is actually pretty crazy. Just waiting for a text from Blondie.
Yeah, and if you want me to sign the case, Mikey, let me know and we'll sign it. Blondie, do we have a confirmation yet? People have seen him and people have seen him in Discord apparently. Oh yeah. And Mikey says yes, please. Yeah, I also gotta fly Ron out there and have him sign it. Confirmed. Mikey is confirmed. Okay, we are gonna raid Braythorn, guys. Just stick around one second. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Really appreciate you. Let's raid and just blow Braythorn's mind away. Because he's got 31 viewers. Here we go, guys. Let's make it crazy. How many people can we get? Come on, let's keep going. Okay, here we go. 600 people, guys. Here we go. Have a good night, you guys. Everybody, how the heck is everybody doing? And there goes chat. There it goes. I just cannot. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for coming in. For those who don't know who I am, uh, although Roby might have mentioned it, uh, I'm the, thank you, the sick PC for the tier one sub. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Okay. Uh, Pinagiotis, give me a minute here. I'm, I'm very sorry. I was helping somebody with the PC. 